All right, I'm going to swap us over and say, we're going to say hello to people while I adjust some of our frames. So hello, mm -hmm. Infinite Monkey Tales. We're going to come over and say hello to you right now. Three, two, one. Hello and welcome. We're getting, we're, the, we're just, I'm going to do some reframing real quick because it's all live. <laughs> it's live. Doing it. It's the joys yeah. of learning and setting up a stream in public. Welcome, exactly. everyone. Okay. <laughs> and you are super zoomed in because that's where I am I super zoomed in. Super zoomed. Oh, I'm so large. Look at my face. Well, I could like crush everyone. <laughs> that you just. That if you want more subs, that'll that'll get it to you. <laughs> Not wrong. Okay, note to future me. <laughs> tall woman gets Wayne's all the subs. Master. <laughs> How quick were those costume changes? I did. I, I did put my Five pronouns in Red Monk. in Zoom Five as minutes. she, her, or sir. Yes, sir. So. I love it. So, I, I love gender neutral sir. It's so Star Trek, mm -hmm. and it makes me so happy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Science fact, Ash is also a mega cutie. How dare you? Oh, Infinite Monkey Tales is here for your British accent, Kelly. Oh, oh. You're not getting oh. it today. You're you're getting, uh, it Hannibal. was decided that I am Space Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> so this is the voice you're getting. What's wrong, Will? I'm slightly, I'm slightly Danish. Because I'm... <laughs> Because you're if you sweet play, and just, full of goo. Just, just slightly, I was about to say, because if you play your cards dangerous. right, I might be full of something fruity. <laughs> growl. Did you just say growl? Growl. <laughs> I love my uh, camo hair right now. It's but like, it worked, did so it not? Yeah, it very much so. Yeah, literally. I, I actually saying like the word growl. Hey, thanks for following. Um, I look what? No, Robin looks like Sabrina when you actually get to see oh, I do look like Sabrina. Band. It's so cute. Mm, welcome. I am eating space yogurt. The space yogurt. The space, oh, what's Are we already talk? going to be from... Uh, is that a Finnish accent? I'm sorry. I don't, Ma 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 I don't tell accent. a Finnish person that. They're not going to like it. Oh, Swedish. It's Swedish. It's Swedish. I have done a very silly thing of having We're gonna my get in trouble. laptop yep. open with my computer, and so I keep touching the wrong mouse. <laughs> Hold the wrong mouse. Welcome, Doc So welcome, welcome. 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 Welcome to Extra Life, We're, folks. Yeah. I hope you're all having a, a really lovely time zone. Yes, yes whatever, whatever the time it from. is for you. Welcome to Mech Hell. We're we're waiting for one more member, my dear friend. Nightbite is joining us in in VTuber form, but she's a little yep. bit delayed. So. She's on VTuber time. It's yeah. We'll I, we'll get her in soon. I I deal with Bunny Harder all the time. It's the same thing. <laughs> what they're like? Oh, sorry. It, I thought it was time to have cake on my head. Okay, but it is always time to have cake on my head. It's under the hat right now. It's cleverly disguised. <laughs> It's a cup oh god. So it's small. You took your hat off and there was a tiny cake on I would I I, I, would I mean you I, win. See, the thing is that I just won't take off the hat. Oh, it's Schrodinger's cake. It's Schrodinger's. Exactly. Exactly. I like this Schrodinger. <laughs> or don't I? I can nice, never decide. It's a nice cake. <laughs> oh yes, he's got that kick, 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 kick. <laughs> Yeah, this hat is really just obnoxiously large, and I love it. I never, yeah. I never knew how much I needed to wear this hat literally every day for the rest of my life, but now yeah. I do. Yep. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to eat for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so if you, if you, I, I'm those of you who are just popping in, if you can't tell, this is intentionally a pretty casual game. I'm encouraging players to like <laughs> eat and rest and take care of themselves. Well, we'll get I'm into the description of, of what the hell we're doing in a moment. Space yoga. I feel like should, should we we should wait for for night for a couple more minutes, right? Yeah, let's we'll, we'll wait. We'll shut. So folks, well, if let's you're give night a, a few more minutes and hang out before we start the the plotting and scheming. So 
Uh, real quick, we might as well do introductions and say what this is rather than who we are. Uh, so hello and welcome. This is Extra Life here on Dork Tales. If you are tuning in for the first time, this is a charity that benefits the BC Children's Hospital underneath the Children's Miracle Network. 100% of donations that we are raising today go toward sick kids. And of course, probably the running of the charity, but we don't pocket anything. Uh, we are here to help sick kids, and we hope that you join us by donating at extralife.org slash team slash dorktales to uh, members of our illustrious team. Uh, if you want to affect the game, you donate to Bunny Hearted. If you want to affect us or give something that affects us directly, donate to the players. Um, and uh, that's a nice incentive to get people to actually run the games um, in the future. Uh, and uh, you get to decide stuff that happens in the game. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, we're going to play. We're doing 11 of these over the weekend. One is under uh, under the water at this point. And uh, we got ten more, uh, nine more after this. That's the way math works, right? I was trying to figure out so. what, like, submarine yeah. game we were playing, and I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then I understood you and we finished it. Yeah. I am not I mean, we, a smart person, We, we yes. totally could go underwater in this one. Right? Oh, yeah. Underwater mechs. We oh, can do whatever we want to do. Burrito bowl. I'm ordering a burrito bowl, I've decided. Yes. <laughs> Underwater. <laughs> Underwater. Exactly, I'm... Vancouver by night. All, all that we really know is that the cake is beautiful. It's true. Yeah. The cake is beautiful. And you're beautiful. It's true. And you're beautiful. Uh, and you're, you're breathtaking. That's only because I stole your breath. Literally with the machine. That's probably illegal. With a machine, yes. Uh, it is not. <laughs> it's not illegal in space, <laughs> Netherlands. Space, Wait, where, Nether where, so space, 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 Netherlands. Netherlands. Space Denmark. I was like, where the hell are the Danish from? <laughs> and all I so could think was the bakery down the street. <laughs> Well, we're 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 giving Knight a few more minutes to to finish up what she's doing and pop in. Mm. Um, I'll go for a little bit about what we're playing, not into to too much of the detail. Uh, but one of my my favorite types of games to play are the kind where it's mostly focused on the fiction. There's not not too much mechanics. You're basically hanging out with mm -hmm. friends with a loose structure to tell silly, ridiculous stories together. Uh, and Mobile Frame Zero is very much one of those. It's like a Gundam or a Macross or Evangelion story generator that you you play with your friends and probably get blazed and have a ridiculous, <laughs> nonsensical three hours. Image and blazed. Um, we, we start off and then we image and blaze in particular, but we'll we'll get there. Uh, the way that it works is a lot like Mario Party. Essentially, we we go in turns and then we choose someone that we're playing a game with. And then that game sort of determines how the fiction goes in that little scene that we're doing. And other people can sort of affect that or participate in it depending on circumstances. Uh, this is, as is usually the case with me, Powered by the Apocalypse. It's actually co-written by Vincent Baker, who is the, the dude who made the Apocalypse world system. Uh, so it's pretty, pretty cool, and I've been really excited to run this forever. Mobile Frame Zero, like, Rapid Attack is actually like a, a tabletop wargaming game where you use Lego to make mechs, and then you now have destructible terrain and destructible mechs because oh you can take off the Lego pieces, and it's the coolest thing. That's incredible. As a giant Warhammer 40k nerd, I, I really wish they got into that instead, so I had much yeah. cheaper models to make <laughs> that I could break for fun. Yes. I was when I was reading the rules on this, I thought about how fun it would be to be as a LARP. There's so mm, many parts yeah, where I you think just it would like, be too. like especially the sort of more like socializing ones, right? Where you're like at a dinner. Yeah. It's like, oh well, let's sit or here. Or a dance, so maybe. Oh yes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> how powerful is my psycho part now you have no idea. Extremely but that's why I have the hat, all the, the cake of psycho powers in there. <laughs> <laughs> Psycho powered cake. Tanuki Tim, that is a wonderful story. One year child hospital visits for ch children's hospital that was funded by the American Networks. You really, really want to show support to hospital and network that and literally help you survive your childhood. Tanuki, that is why I am excited about this fundraiser myself. Because yeah. well, I have a story, be right? Here. I do. I mean, I spent the first several months of my life in a children's hospital and I wouldn't be here without them. And then I spent many more months throughout my childhood in children's hospitals. My, my whole reason for supporting this fundraiser is that I want other people to have the same opportunity that I was, frankly, very, very lucky to have. Yeah, and my um, kind of, like, not directly affected me, but my, my cousin, um, who did, like, he did, like, karate and stuff as a kid, uh, he 
used the BC Children's Hospital because they found out like a, he he his personality changed drastically throughout like my middle school and high school and they figured out that he's like several concussions away from having like serious brain damage on him so I like wow. I would potentially like my and they went a lot of, like treatment to get back to his old self but he basically had to stop doing that kind of thing again because he was like a few head concussions away from serious brain damage so yeah mm -hmm. well i'm glad that they caught it yeah yeah and hearts for hearts for the ghoul team appreciate yeah. you ghoul was actually originally going to be in this game too but unfortunately it didn't work out so ghoul i hope that i get to play this with you at some point in the future because i think you will, will really enjoy it perhaps extra yeah. life november yeah. for a chance to dream Chance. No, chance. Wonka, it takes Thanks, one Wonka. to know one. Yeah. Did Wonka <laughs> say something kind and nice? That's such a Wonka thing to do. That's so Wonka. It's Wonkish. That's so I'm wondering, should Wonka. should I even have a game master title card over here? Or should I have a character name? Because this system doesn't quite have a game master. I'm Does sort of a game master, but only only lightly. You're oh. just the knower of the rules. I'm just the knower of the rules, but I'm playing. I'm gonna play a character too. Hold on, give me a name. I'm loading up Photoshop right now. I can fix it. Aww. I can fix it. I well, can fix I mean, it. Night, night's not quite here yet, so we got a minute. Yeah, yeah. why not? Okay. Like... I think it's Ellie. Armature? Oh, she's trying to find the Zoom link right now. It is Ellie Armature. I'll pull that in the Zoom Tell her chat for you. It's hidden Kelly. in hell at the moment in Zoom hell. <laughs> uh, I'll grab the link for her. I put Millie's name in the Zoom chat, Kelly. I have to look up just to, to get it. a good read. Because, like, this reflective bar in the middle is a bit difficult to see. I keep <laughs> accidentally putting my visor in. <laughs> I'll send her the, uh, the document link, too. Okay. Oh, yeah, I might need that, too, because I have no idea what we're doing. That's okay, we'll too, go through it. I was too busy scheduling. Going yeah. insane. Well, and I told you that we could basically do everything at the start of game in like three seconds, so that is okay. Yeah, all the specifics uh, are very much like, okay, I want to do this, uh, that. <laughs> oh, narrator is probably a good a good take on it, Dave. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. slightly biased narrator if I'm playing a character, but you know. <laughs> do you want narrator or do you want do you want narrator slash this character uh we could just be be the character i think that's fine no i'll put narrator slash okay get rid of my pdfs because i'm no longer oh longer. tanuki very similar okay and then i really appreciate you tanuki i like tanuki as well i love seeing them yeah. like show up they're a sweet bean okay and boom that should change everything <gasps> Wee. Dun, dun, dun. Waiting for Twitch to catch up. Yeah. Ooh, beautiful. Looking good. Yeah, and I also made our names more visible. Oh, yeah. Because I forgot to add a shadow effect to them because I was busy. <laughs> because uh, I, I mentioned this last stream, but pro tip, uh, if you have a sequence of events that goes take vacation come back and run three day long charity event do them in the opposite order next time <laughs> yeah yes. uh, i didn't have an option because it was a family vacation so it was christine's family was going away and they're like come on a trip with us and we were like uh yeah yeah let's do that and then it's like what weekend are you going and they're like yeah well we're gonna go right until extra life and like well <laughs> shit <laughs> i guess this is what we're doing Okay, I'm going to get Alien Nightclub ready for you, okay. Bunny. Uh, Nate's busy... asking us to just start the game. So I think we can do that, and then we can we can go through who we are and all of that stuff when, when she's ready to join. That sounds fine to me. All right, so do you want to do the boisterous intro and uh, for when I do the YouTube cut? Sure, let's, let's do that. That sounds like a good time. It's going to be such a good time. It's going to be so good. <laughs> I gotta get some tea first and get into my dramatic speaking voice. There we go. Is this dramatic enough? I don't know. It's pretty dramatic. Ooh, I have space okay. battle. Okay. Wait, is, is there space battle music playing right now? 
Uh, do you want Space Battle Music playing right now? Hold Let's on. do it. Space Battle okay. Music playing right now. Let's go. All right. Hold on. Oh, dun, and dun, dun. Uh, wait, I should be, should, should I be in roll 20 to hear this? Yes, it's uh, the thing I use for Whoops. candle keep. <laughs> okay, let me pull Whoops. that on. Everybody's frantically easy. typing. <laughs> I can also do mech war. Too which many like... of these. Oh, it's not X. The one he is for, I don't think it's I'm called, It's called Extra one. Life now, I changed it. Oh, okay, Extra okay, Life. Oh, hello, Diggy Blog. <gasps> hello, blog. Diggy Blog. Blog, 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 diggy, diggy. There's only me in here. I joined. In this world's way. Oh. In this one? Was it the, the one that I'm in? Uh, I, everybody else is in the other one. Can you send me links to that? I think I may not uh, be in it. I may be in a different extra life music somehow. <laughs> oh yeah, we had another one. So, uh, one sec. Uh, do, 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 yeah, do, hold on. Do, do. I just gotta get a link. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've got epic music, music playing here. in the background. Right. I mean, this is good. This is good. But I don't. I don't hear the epic music. I can't be inspired by the epic music. Ah, uh, there. It's been shared. My ear is really itchy. Hey, thanks right. for the sub scrub scrub scrub. Sub. Nah. I don't know why. I said thanks for the scrub. thanks for the uh, sub scrub. <laughs> what? What? No, I don't want your what? subs. No That's a lie. I need them to pay my rent next month. <laughs> Come here for the game. Stay for the insults. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a pretty oh. enough girl to use that model. <laughs> you're I mean, very I think pretty you can pull girl, it off, though. though. Very true. You're, I, you are I the really prettiest think, of princesses. You know what? If you put me through the face app, like the <laughs> one that, the, like the gender swapping face app, true. Girl <laughs> Kelly is hot. I want to be her friend and potentially. I will. I, I potentially want I, to I promise, her. I was saying I promise very hard, very yeah. hard not to just yell the word egg at you at any time tonight. But Why? you know, carry on. No, no. What, is that, what does that mean? <laughs> it's it's a trans joke. Is it? Oh yeah. yeah okay, I get it now. <laughs> but no, it's you know what? It's just it's too much work, and I'm too lazy. I that that's that's why. I I couldn't. Fair it's enough. just I'm too lazy. Also, also. So while we have dramatic yeah. music playing, I feel like I should do the the intro of the setting that we're in, and then we we can get started and talk through how the game works and who we're playing. Does that sound good? Yes. It does. Yeah. Sounds very good. Okay. For the YouTube cut, do you want to restart the dramatic music? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I was almost gonna show you my my egg form, but she's <laughs> well, buried you just in have my. To show me your egg form later. <laughs> Hi <-o. laughs> <Hey> <laughs> Uh, there are so many jokes. Twitch has and guidelines against that. Twitch mm -hmm. does, but not on the Dork Tales only fans. Oh, true. Until Ew. October. I was going to um, say. Well, yeah, for the next yeah. month. Apparently, actually, uh, we talked about this before. Apparently, uh, this does not affect base content creators. So, like, if you are a person huh, who is posting, like, like modeling nudes or even videos, it doesn't apply to you. It only applies to third party people. So, like, I guess huh. managing organizations can't do it because they... Well, that actually makes sense because then, like, Weird. porn studios who would yeah. be taking right? over... Yeah, because that's actually not bad. Because hmm. then there's probably some legal protection mm. in there where they're, like, they might have people who should not be on the yeah. site. Yeah. Or and then they agree. have lawyers and stuff where if it's just a person being like, I certify that I can upload this stuff because I am of majority and this is my own free will. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I guess that's kind of more... I don't know. It's It's a complicated issue. But... I don't know. I won't go into it. I know yeah. <laughs> weird amounts about it because I know a bunch of sex workers. I would love to hear more yeah. about yes. it off camera. Later, you and I. We, we, we can talk speak. about it off camera, yes. or the stream will turn into an OnlyFans hot take center, <laughs> which does sound fun. <laughs> it does but... sound fun. How hot? Okay, dramatic <laughs> music time. Okay, dramatic music time. <clears throat> the Bantrol system is not at war. Bantrol was never, until recently, a wealthy colony. The planet had resources enough just to maintain its own small society, but none worth exporting. There was never any need for the corporate sponsors of its initial colonization to interfere with its administration. In the halls of Solar Union Commerce, land shares on Bantrol traded for nothing. No cost, no gain. You might throw all my land shares on Bantrol into your golf wager as a joke, or give them as a prank gift to a friend. 
Recently, though, there was a minor development in an obscure biochemical processing technology, and the novel features of Bantrol's ecosystem went from being a scientific curiosity to being an untapped and unknowably deep wellspring of wealth. Land chairs on Bantrol are no longer an ignored asterisk on anyone's balance sheet. The handover administration of power from the descendants of Bantrol's original Terran colonists to the newly interested legal rights holders, the self-proclaimed landowners, has been cheerful, orderly, and mutually profitable. There have been a few isolated spats, of course, but there's been practically no protracted, bitter, bloody war of resistance between the displaced old Bantraish aristocracy and the off-world landowners. When a landowner uses the threat of violence to force a hereditary great family to give up their land, keeping them on as guides and entertainers, it's cheerful. When they offer them in exchange a negligible sum, it is mutually profitable. When a fiery company of Bantrish irregulars responds by raiding their holdings and seizing arms and material against future battles, and local insurrectionists take advantage of the upset by forcibly occupying a biochem processing facility, and the landowners respond with ruthless crackdowns of martial law, these are a few isolated spats. To admit otherwise would be to invite the intervention of the Terran Transit Authority's mediation and peacekeeping forces, and then no one would get rich from Bantrol but the TTA. So that's the setting. We're in an undeclared war that is just an absolute clusterfuck. <laughs> we have folks like us coming in from the central colonies, either on behalf of or as the legal, according to a distant, central, uncaring government, rights holders to these lands. We have folks like Kelly's character, who are the locals who have been here for generations, and it's theirs. And we have folks like um, local rebels who would like to see some change and are seeing some good opportunity for that right now. <laughs> Protoculture, Heisel. <laughs> Macross. <laughs> I definitely was watching a bunch of Macross earlier just to to get into the right mood for this. I, I watched so the, the object very of first this game. episode of Gundam Wing. Yes. Like, oh my I gosh, watching? that must be fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I, could, would be I good couldn't time. watch the original because I had to do it while I worked at for work from home, and so I couldn't have right. just the fair subtitles. Enough, fair enough. Krista, can you turn off the bit? Fun. Uh, I can. I hope so. Q. So the, the objective of this game, we're, we're sort of in conflict with each other, but the goal is more to create messy entanglements than to destroy each other. Specifically, we can fall in love with our enemies, ally with our rivals, and fight our friends. Uh, to start the game, we're going to introduce our characters. We've all done a little bit of this ahead of time, because we, we had to choose names, of course, for the, the title screen. Uh, and then we'll, we'll go around and start taking turns and playing some games together. It is really like Mario Party to the death. It's a good time. We can do some more chill space music at this point, probably. We're doing right. intro stuff. I don't know. All right, hold on. I have chill space music. Just one moment. <laughs> chill space music. So for introducing our, our characters, who wants to introduce themselves first? I can I can go first and we can talk about who we are and then talk about who we're playing. Or should we do who we are and then do a separate round for our characters? What do you feel, Kelly? Uh, let's introduce ourselves real quick. Sure. So, hi, I'm Bonnie Hardet. I'm a gay criminal VTuber who is violating the sacred VTuber oath by showing my face on camera right now. Don't tell the council or they'll try to put me back in jail, and I refuse to go back in the box. Uh, my pronouns are they and them, or she and her, and you can find me at twitch.tv slash bunnyhearted. Why don't we continue around the circle that I see to Robin? Hello. My name is Robin. Uh, I use she, her, or they, them pronouns, and uh, you can find me usually on Dork Tales most of my life. Um, on this cyberspace is now spent on the Dork Tales, but uh, when I'm not, I'm on a second second gen gamer on uh, Twitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta love my camo wig. It's next to me. Uh, <laughs> it's really cool. Next one for me is Krista. Hi, I'm Krista. Uh, you can find me here on Dork Tales a lot of the time. Um, uh, oh, you can use uh, she, her, or they, them pronouns for me. Um, but when I'm not here, you can find me on TikTok at JahistaFX. Uh, you'll be able to see me in the chat as the same thing. Or you can find me on any podcast provider thing. I don't know. What's it called? Um, Adobe Player. What? wherever podcasts are sold that's the one uh and youtube <laughs> uh at laser comb productions where you can uh find me on based on a podcast where we talk about movies based on books and the books that they're based on i love that name laser comb productions amazing yeah it's it, funny enough it's based on 
uh, the Joystick Podcast. My partner who runs the production is with well, a big joystick, which is the McElroy Brothers that I am a big fan of. Well, it's one of the McElroy Brothers. And I, today in our coin toss, I am using the 500th episode <laughs> McElroy, Ooh. my brother, my brother, and me coin. <laughs> so Mine is a foam together. from a collector's edition of Fable, but nice. we'll, we'll get into Mine coins is later. from the Lindorm Kickstarter. Yes. Mine is in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> which I will have to get in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Kelly, why don't you introduce yourself? Um, all right. So, hey, everybody, I'm Kelly. I'm normally the DM, GM, ST, whatever you call it, egg here on Dork Tales. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I use he and him. For, really? You're going to do that for me? You're so sweet. Uh, any coin that is in the skeletal hand will work. Sorry, my my, <laughs> uh, my my lovely assistant and executive producer is grabbing a coin while she's making herself lunch. No. Dinner? We oh yeah, whatever you. time it is. So anyway, hey, Kelly, uh, he, him, uh, and I am using also a Lindorm coin that says, you can hardly expect any peace for troublemakers. Ooh. Which is probably accurate. Uh, so yeah, that's one person tells a tale, but, it, but half told when only, oh, what? Where does it start? <laughs> A Where tale does it is, start? A tale is but half told when only one person tells it. There we nice. go. They're Appropriate for this. Yep. So yeah, that's me. Hi. 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 Warm. Yeah, I'm feeling that too. I feel like wearing a jacket was a mistake, but it's like it's a cool military jacket. Yeah, I'm, I'm wearing shorts on my basically, and and hot. and I'm not even wearing socks. So, there we go. and I'm doing my best to to survive it. Okay, so we will have my, my darling friend Nightbite joining us, uh, but maybe in a little bit. So she just may drop in Titanfall style partway through. We will see. But in the meantime, uh, the way that this typically works is that we, we pick a faction and choose some traits about your character. There's no character sheet that you need to fill out for this. Because we needed to, to have names in advance for the stream, we did a little bit of this in advance. But really, it's, it's quite a simple system to start with. So the character that I'm playing is named Ellie Armature. I'm a landowner mercenary. Her pronouns are she, her, or sir, yes, sir. Uh, her traits are confident, good-hearted, and striking. Uh, and I think that she's a lieutenant in the 7th Squadron of the Phoenix Star Division, all of which is stuff that we just made up for fun. And that, that's the entire character sheet. That's all that we need to know. We have a shared document that we're using to keep notes on each other. And we will go through there from that. Do we want to keep going in the same order with Imogen Blaze? Sure. All right. So Imogen Blaze is just the best badass name I could think of. Um, Blaze is your last name in Hexeter, too. Yes. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, I, Blaze was suggested because um, I just chose Imogen and I was like, oh, what's the last name? And someone said Blaze. I'm like, well, I guess uh, maybe a, a, a low relative of of yes, fine. In the distant future. <laughs> In the distant future. A great, 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 great grandchild. Of That's yes. a yes. little aggrandizing, but okay. Okay. <laughs> but yes, uh, so Imogen is... <laughs> Just stop. Just stop. I love you, but stop. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, she is a revolutionary. You know, got that got that rebel scum. I, I'm wearing the wrong jacket. I know. I'm sorry. You took it off the body of one there of the... <laughs> there we go. I took it off a body. Um, How dare you? That was my finest soldier. <laughs> but uh, she is dashing, inspiring, oh. and devout. And uh, I have, have put her, she is the figurehead of her rebellion faction. She became a hero by completing an impossible task. And uh, since then, she's been known the blaze to start the fire. Thank you. All right. Hell yeah. We got to arrest you. Holy crap. <laughs> Who just, we got so many subs rolling in. Who just bought subs? Jackal. Jackal Crossing. Thank you so much, Jackal, Jackal Crossing. The best. Nah, Jackal. Thank you for the support. It's wonderful. Thank you so much. The sub sport. They're just gonna keep sub, rolling in. Sub sports, yes. <laughs> well, why don't we meet Kellen next? Hi, I'm playing Kellen Robert. Uh, she is uh, a land. I keep reading it as a land downer. <laughs> a land down under. A land downer. Uh, like it's someone we're, who takes we're now down Australians. Land or yeah. it's just like it's like your land, but it's depressing. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. 
<laughs> this is a really land. sad land party, which is like, let's be fair, most of them. Uh, I went to too many in high school. Uh, so uh, she is conflicted, friendly, and thoughtful. Uh, and she is of the 8th Squadron of the Phoenix Star Division uh, and uh, field mate to Ellie. Awesome possum. I'm sure there will be no no horrible internal conflicts there at all. None at all. Speaking We're of definitely. horrible internal conflicts, my darling friend who I'm sure I get along with very well, Count Emmerich von Raschke. Would you like to introduce yourself? It's von Raschke. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. This was not quite the music I was hoping for in the background. I had specifically done <laughs> elegant dinner party, and it was just like the sound of like <laughs> clinking, clinking. Yeah, it was. Uh, hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. I, I was supposed to be royal salon. That's also. May I say how much I love the fact that our like list of names in our Discord chat, it's, everything's in regular like yeah caps, and Kelly's is just count 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 Emmerich von Rash. He's so. That's, that, that's how. That's how Kelly typed it in the Discord. Oh, I know. So, yeah, I... That's, 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 <laughs> it's because I got it on a generator, and I was like, "Holy shit, yes!" Because this is who we're dealing with. <laughs> Greetings. Oh no. I am very happy to be here. My name is Count Emmerich von Reisk. <laughs> I come from a long line of people who have people. potentially guided people with lesser means into positions of comfort. Many people have had full bellies off of my family. And what, for a little bit of wealth? Our wealth allows us to do more for the underclasses. And now that these ruffians, these invaders, are coming to take our land, perhaps we take the gloves off. I use he and him pronouns, although I'm flexible. And uh, this is in my bio, which you can read on <laughs> Count on the Count, a documentary <laughs> of Emmerich von Rasch. <laughs> available. Kelly, why I ruined my makeup? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> I have so oh, many, no. and I have so many OnlyFans jokes. I, I know. That's what I'm afraid of. Why did I even bother doing my makeup? Right? I always make you cry, darling. You really do, all the time. Anyway, so I'm, I've decided this today is mine, that- Mine's only on one side. I know. <laughs> uh, mine's hiding behind my visor, so that's great. <laughs> I'll have to touch that up before the next game. <laughs> I don't know why anyone ever lets me play a role-playing game. <laughs> <laughs> Just as a it's rule. So much fun. Uh -huh. I used best. to I used to be not very good and then I started a channel online and then I became a real character actor idiot. <laughs> it's great. So anyway, well, you just uh, stopped yeah. caring. I yeah. stopped I, yeah, I stopped worrying about being the cool guy and just became an idiot. An idiot. Von Rush. <laughs> oh my god. Ow. Growl. We will we will be joined Growl. by by another rebel in the near future. But we'll we'll allow Nightbite to introduce rebel. that character when she is here. A different Red rebel, Star. from Are we talking about Red Star? Faction. <gasps> we are, but Red Star. Dun dun dun. I might have that sound effect. Hold on. <laughs> Star. I I am now thinking space balls. Lone Star. This is just great. So like night night nights nights dealing with something else like right now. She's on a call, mm -hmm. but I love that she's just basically gonna rock it in with Red Star. And everyone. Red Star. So when it's she comes in, it, if she's yeah, not one, everyone should be like Red, Red Star. Star. Red Star. <laughs> we'll have to do Red it. Star. So. Let's go over our, our duties as players. Uh, so our, our duties, because basically every part of the Apocalypse game comes with duties, is to play easy, play fair, and always let the other players make their own decisions for themselves. And that's really the that core of this game, yeah. uh, is you're, you're sort of making decisions together, but so much of it is risking your own stuff. My, my favorite example of this is if we have a tactical skirmish, so say we're, we're fighting all out, we brought soldiers to, to try to kill each other, I'm going to try to take out Imogen Blades. Um, my demands aren't withdraw or I kill one of your men. It's withdraw or one of my friends dies. This is a very different and much oh. more interesting choice mm -hmm. in how it affects the, the, the fiction that we're telling together. Because you can, you know, choose to kill my friend, but then I'm really going to want to kill yours next time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other duty is to try to get our characters into messy entanglements with the others. 
whenever anyone asks us a question about our character or the current situation to answer it and if we don't know the answer just to make it up uh, and then overall if we find that we missed a rule or played a game incorrectly that's basically fine just go along with what the other players are, are doing and do what feels most fair we can work out what should have happened later when we're not playing that game uh, it is possible to get killed. It will not surprise you. It's almost always by your choice. It's very easy to make another character. You can pop in as a subordinate or a completely new person. It takes 30 seconds. To end play, which we'll, we'll get to eventually in, in a good chunk of time, uh, we, we sort of go around and, and ask unresolved questions and sort of decide what happens to our characters, how the story comes to a close. This is a game that's entirely built in the fiction. The mechanics are all impacting the fiction. There's no dice rolls for damage, nothing like that. It's all just the storytelling piece, which I love because it's light and easy and fun, and we can tell whatever weird stories we want to. So the first thing that we do, we, we have a, a doc we've put together which has a bunch of games in it. The first one that we should all do is play Solitaire. And Solitaire is a game that you can play anytime that you're not playing a different game. And it's just sort of what your character is doing in the background and it informs a little bit about we would, what we would notice about your character when we're playing the next game. Uh, so there's one per faction. So I'm looking at the landowner one here. I'm going to say that I've been drilling maneuvers with my squad and they've been overworked, tired, sloppy, and impatient. That's my my downtime of solitaire gameplay. So now that's that's what my character was doing and when we get into the next game that will that will influence it. Oh, interesting. Sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, because we're we're setting up a piece of the fiction, which will then will then go yeah. from there. Huh. Mm. Hello, Jordy. Nice to see you. Wonderful to see Jordy. <clears throat> so, who wants to go first? Do we I, want... I will. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Sure. So choose any game down the side of the list. If you're in the, the Google Docs one, that's probably the easiest. I have them all listed. Uh, so it's stuff like Solitaire, an animated disagreement, a chase, a conversation over food, a dance, a free-for-all. I'm going to play Solitaire. Okay, that, sure. You, so that's you just... You, sure, yeah, you would just change what you're what you're doing. You don't oh, have to absolutely. tell us. You can play it, you can play it yourself. Uh, then who wants well, to I go think... next? Oh, okay, I was. Do you mind if I share just so that the fiction is present, or do sure, we have to type yeah, it somewhere? Yeah, go for it. Uh, you so, can highlight it in the document if you want okay. to. But. So he has been spending time uh, uh, with his immediate family. Ah, nice. And is fighting bitterly with his sister, Amelia von Reich. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. So we, we should all be, be playing one round of Solitaire at the start, too. So we could go around and share what we're doing for that, too, if we want to. And then we would do a... Just do one oh, round okay. of Solitaire. Yeah. And then no. Kelly can yeah, do, so choose the Yeah, so let's go through yeah. the, the okay. full round. And then, Kelly, you'll cool. choose the other game first. So I'm drilling troops, and they're tired and overworked. Darn troops. <laughs> uh, why don't we keep going in, in what's now, for me, counterclockwise. So Kellen would be next. Um, I think I'm going to... Uh, you've been scouting and touring the region with hired Bantrash guides. I always want to say Bantrash. Bantrash? You can call them that. <laughs> they can't complain legally. This is just Bantrash. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bantrash guides. Um, and you were struck by Bantrash's marvelous vistas and untamed beauty. Mm -hmm. As someone who's never been here before. <clears throat> Imagine going to the surface. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Imogen, so what are you pretty. up to? So Imogen has been raiding ban trash, kind of ban trash, plants and warehouses for material, and she uh, nearly blundered into a deadly ambush. Pure chance revealed it to me in time. Nice. All right, that could inform lots of stuff, actually. Mm-hmm. All right, Kelly. So, do you want to choose a game, or do you have any questions about any game? I don't mind so, talking through. So, am I art. am I a landowner or a bantrash? You're a bantrash. Okay, cool. So you're you're the nobles. Okay, cool. Landowners are are like mercenaries and distant Roger. business people. Okay, and that's what Krista is, right? Okay, I yes, added I added me. in your head that you were a bantrash. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, so I'm going to do a dance. Oh, who and are I'm, you dancing with? With you. You choose one of us. <gasps> okay. So then we would decide how we came to be dancing and other so, folks can potentially join the dance too. So uh, Ellie is a landowner. She, she's a, a fairly high ranking mercenary captain. 
for the landowners. Yeah. And how uh, did we come to be dancing together? Uh huh. I think. What about? Mm. What if this was like a um, a, an, a diplomatic attempt by the Bantaresh to try to um, negotiate more power, uh, probably futilely, uh, into sure. your land grab? That sounds good. It's a it's a fancy meeting, and we're we're putting up with your your noble stuff traditions. Ugh. Okay. Do either of you two feel like your characters would be at this dance? You don't have to, but if I, you if you think you could be, you could be. If it's some kind of like military, like let's put on a show for the landowner guys to maybe try to gain some support, I think. Kellen would be there, maybe like, but like at the snack table. <laughs> That's okay. That sounds good. You should try the finger food. <laughs> yeah. Very, very fancy. <laughs> so you get to ask the first question, I think. Ooh, well, okay. Uh, actually, it's down to who who has the the worst dance moves. So between Ellie and oh, Ellie has the worst dance moves between us. Absolutely. <laughs> Kellen's got real good okay. disco moves. Let's see. While we're dancing, I lose my place in the dance. Do you let me stumble or do you draw me back into place? I draw, uh, I draw you back into place. A dancer mm -hmm. is only as good as his partner. Hey, you have a question. I wish Ooh, I had my actual finger, finger foods. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's see. Uh, when the dance ends, will you stand with me or rush away? Mm, I think Ellie would rush away. She's got to look professional and distant with her hands behind her back. Hmm. She might smirk a little, though. <laughs> Kellen. Um, you can you can also just be here watching if you don't if you don't want to ask uh, questions for him. But you could join in. Yeah, I was just looking if there was any that like fit someone being like outside of it. Um, a question. So, so when with the you or me, is that like discussing? You sort of choose one of us that you're asking the question to. So the dance can swirl around, and we could end up dancing okay. together. You could end up dancing with the count. Got it. Um, oh. Uh, at this moment in the dance, I guess as you're walking away, uh, Ellie, um, something makes you laugh. What are you laughing at? I think it's you at the snack table because you're stealing the last of the Bantrish Nanaimo bars. Yes. <laughs> you're hoping no one will notice. Bantrish I did, Nanaimo I is the crown jewel I won't of Bantrishia. Tell anyone. <laughs> she's she's wrapping one up in like a really fancy fabric napkin and like sticking it in a pocket and you walk up and she's like I'll share it with you later I think I'm gonna direct my second question we each get to to you Kellen something about me catches your eye and your look lingers what is it the smirk from you walking away the smirk yeah See, oh you noticed that uh oh <laughs> What, what, uh -oh. what's that? <laughs> huh? yeah. I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it'll be fine. Ooh, Count, cool. it's your turn to ask a question if you wish to. Uh, let's see. Uh, so you that you already did the look lingers. Um, let's see. How about, there are very few that are applicable at this moment. So what I will say is. Well, we can adjust the fiction to make it more applicable. You could always come closer and then. So I think I think he will go over to grab a drink from the from the food table, and uh, as you are eating, uh, Callan, uh, the count will uh, lean over and grab a beverage. And at this point, he smiles. His face is close to yours. Do you subtly turn toward or away? turns toward but in that way of like i didn't realize quite how close you were <laughs> in that kind of like you're like you're right there <laughs> you want to have a moment oh no <laughs> <laughs> as he flicks his hair kelly uh, like immediately avert eye contacts no thank you um 
Probably not, but only yeah. because she like looks and then like then catches Ellie out of the corner of her eye and is like, hey, oh yeah. Uh sorry, Count, and like <laughs> bolts. <laughs> it's no bother at all. Oh. Kellen, I think the next question and last question. Oh, if you uh, let's run away from the dance section here. Here we go. Um, no, I think that was. I think that that fits all of them. I am without a okay. question. Then, one way or another, the dance will end. Oh. Kellen yeah. regularly teases Ellie about enjoying <laughs> dancing with band trips. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she will. She's very tight-lipped about it. Oh well. Oh, and Kellen is was anybody a... else? No, like when anyone else is around, nothing but just this like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Pro mm -hmm. professional kindness. Mm -hmm. uh, very kind of you. Mm -hmm. Terribly uh, professional. Yes, I. I certainly think so. Mm -hmm. Yes. I want, absolutely. <laughs> and she pulls out her Nanaimo bar and <laughs> breaks it in half and hands after you. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> well, then, as we, we get back into our mobile frames and head back into orbit or wherever the heck we're staying. <laughs> <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Yes. Wistfully chewing a Nanaimo bar as we break the sound barrier. Exactly. <laughs> Nice. That's, uh, that is what happens when you eat an animal bar. Oh, the oh, coolest. It is. It is. Very true. Amazing. Very true. <laughs> so, Kellen, the next game is yours. Oh, goodness. Um, do perhaps um, uh, Imogen, would you like to be involved in a chase? Oh, yes, mm. she would. Cool. Uh, so okay. you two choose which of you is the hunter and which is the quarry. And then there's one more thing that we should have done for the dance that I, I neglected to ask oh. too, but it's what you notice about each other and what you may have heard about each other. Oh. I have heard that Kellen doesn't have very good opinions of the Count, I think, if, if I may offer that. that yeah, is, I, I could see that of coming out. That, that, that I, I, and, and, and that's probably just like she's I, th I feel like that's how it comes across and people just mm. assume that she's like oh this guy whatever when really she's just like who <laughs> I okay uh she kind of wants to meet the Ben Trish because she's kind of starting to see like why are we at war with these guys like the count is being amenable totally but what's his game oh no, you know what I mean <laughs> I mean yeah. how are we, we not, are. not we at war <laughs> And I, we I are say, at war with the rebels. <laughs> of course, yes. The rebels, of course. And I would say the Count looks tired. Like, he's not that old, but he's starting to get that the, the, the lines already under his eyes. And the makeup is not quite holding as much, well as it used to. Ah, good to know. Thing. So Imogen, what does Kellen and the audience notice about Imogen? Um, you think so, would be aware of the ambush or something. Yeah, else? probably. I was gonna say you'd be be aware of the uh, ambush attack um, mm -hmm. that was set up, and that you you probably noticed that Imogen somehow heard it. My skip the dishes just knocked on my door. <laughs> nice. One second, go get <laughs> one. Go second. get food. Okay. You're Hang noticing on, this... Imogen is very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> hungry for battle uh okay hang on this dun, gives me a second dun, to write dun. notes about people hang on uh mm -hmm. and then count i'm kellen why did i write my own name and then imogen uh okay ellie was the training but pushing the trainees in yeah they were they were overworked right uh overworked squad Imogen, okay. what was yours, Imogen? Sorry, Your solitaire nearly blundered into a deadly ambush. Yeah, and then but, managed to to escape. But pure chance moment. revealed it to you in time. So I obviously I think avoided the ambush, but I was raiding a plant. So Kellen probably has heard that Imogen is this like legendary battle planner because she managed to avoid this like incredible ambush that we laid for her so yeah. we need to be even one step ahead 
Yeah. So which Maybe. one of you is the quarry and which one of you is the hunter? I'd say I probably would be the quarry. You're trying to track me down. Yeah, that would be my guess. Finally, like, found where you were. And yeah. Have been hunting I was on you. another, another, yeah, I was on another plant raid and gotcha caught it there at that point gotta gotta got it okay all right so the quarry actually conducts the chase so Ooh. imogen you're you're sort of running this for how it goes all right uh, okay. are you are you in your in your mechs or are you on foot do you want to start on foot and say like yeah this is we a can foot chase yeah this is a foot chase do you want this could be like just coming back after the the day after the events of the dance yes uh do you wonderful. just okay. see imogen in town and go <gasps> <gasps> it's yeah it's a spider-man <laughs> meme um <laughs> and she goes back like rub our line on her she, yeah exactly and just takes off yes i think i think it's a like crazy happenstance of like oh my god that's you <laughs> yeah it was just like the the, yeah. Like the, the the squint and then the a realization. <laughs> we're, we're both alone without squads. Yeah, we're just like holy shit. Amazing. Ah! Okay, the quarry conducts the chase. First, say where you're going. So you get to conduct this image. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you say where you are running, and then you pick four challenges and admissions. Mm -hmm. Uh, the third, the third sort of round has to be an admission. Okay. Um, but other than that, they can be challenges or admissions. Yeah. And then, so the, the admissions present coins to the other side. And at the end of the chase, the coins determine who the victor of the chase is. Mm. Ooh. So the first challenge is probably yours, unless you want to start with an admission. No, I'll take a challenge. Um, Got chase music ready. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> Kill Bill sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Ree, ree, ree. Um, Yeah, okay. Um, I lead a dizzying course through switchback and blind. Follow me if you want, but throw. On tails, you're lost and won't be able to find your own way back. Oh, awesome. Okay. Uh, so tails. So mine doesn't really have heads and tails, but I have teal and silver. For, so T for tails and teal. Cool. Sure. Okay. Silver head. <laughs> it's mint head. Thank oh, you. Oh, damn it, Kelly. Uh, so, oh no, that, never mind. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, I, I yeah, really got heads. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm just used to cursing nice. you, okay? Uh, <laughs> Say my name. <laughs> Bad trash. Continuing on. Bad, Bad trash. <laughs> well, Say what I am. Say it. Bad trash. <laughs> trash. I got silver. Uh, so I, I, I keep up with you. So does that mean I, I don't get anything from that? Uh, I don't think so. No. no. Okay, got no. it. So Imogen, what's the next challenge or admission? Um, okay, um... Space cops are here. I hear that. <gasps> Not the space cops! <laughs> Wait, aren't we the space cops? Shh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you're here. <laughs> okay, I plunge through stinking muddy water. There's a sewer or something. Follow me if you want, but you'll need to ignore the stench and filth and ruin your clothing. Okay, she'll your do uniform, it. Uniform, your precious uniform. Precious, precious uniform. I just got this pressed. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll push through, but like, she'll she'll fight through her way, not showing any remorse. She might tuck her hair up a little bit, but other than that, she'll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep hot in the trail. All right. All right. So we're at the third one. This one has to be has an to be an admission. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. I slip on treacherous ground and scramble to keep my footing. On heads, I sl you slide to overtake me and so gain two coins. Ooh. Okay. All right. Uh, heads. Okay. Heads is silver. I thought I. Or, oh wait, who's who's who flips? Who flips on emissions? Uh, uh, in, in this oh no, one, you Kellen throw. Yeah. Flip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So heads is gonna be the Lindorm. Tails is gonna be the like. Okay. Cool thing. All right. 
There's actually a name for that. I can't remember what it is, but yeah. it's one of the things in. Uh... Ooh, oh, I got tails. I got. I got the. Uh... <gasps> oh man! <gasps> so you managed to keep going. Manage to scramble and keep my footing. <sighs> Woohoo! You are a keep we, it right we are worthy way. adversaries. Oh yeah. So okay, we're at the fourth and final challenge or admission. Imagine it's your choice, whether it's an admission or challenge this time. Challenges okay. have options for you to gain coins, which you might want to do if you're going to escape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So challenges when I get coins. Oh yeah. Some of them, but not all of them. Oh. For example, I race along a high and perilous ledge. That one has you gaining a coin at the end of it, depending on the coin toss. Ooh. Yes. Actually, yeah. that's a question that I have. Are, are you in the city or are you in the wilderness right now? I figured I was in the city. So I could be racing along. I jump onto the roof. I jump onto a roof and uh, follow me if you dare. On a tails, you have to slow pick your way. So yeah, I'm gonna race along a rooftop. So she jumps up and like starts running along the roof. And uh, so you have to throw on a tails. tails. You have to slow pick your way carefully along and I gain a coin. Come on, okay, give me a coin. Good. Give me a coin. So I, I, I want heads. Okay. You want heads. You want, I want heads, silver. yeah. Ah, silver. No! <laughs> no, you're too good. We're too good. Yeah. We're too good. <laughs> So, Imogen, the hunter has as many coins as you or more, because you're you're tied at zero. Yep. So you've got a, a selection of ending the chase options to choose from here. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Um, your allies have cut me off, <gasps> and I'm brought to. So suddenly I run into <gasps> maybe Ellie. And a group of people, I jump off the roof and I'm like, oh shit. You're under arrest. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Good to see you, Lieutenant Armitage. Well done, brother. Damn it. Damn it. Thought I'd lose you back there. Oh, you're damn, you're you're good. Oh, so are you. As, as she's being cuffed, I'll pat her on the back. Yeah, right. Like you said. You. Oh, I thought I'd lose you there on the roof, but oh, you kept coming. Oh, not wasn't wasn't top of my class and climbing for nothing. Good job. Oof. Oh. I'm gonna go. Well, let's get some water. let's get you into the prison yeah, wagon. I guess so. <laughs> Shove you a little roughly and take you off. Done, oh. done, done. Yes. Harder, 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 mommy. <laughs> harder, sir. Harder. Sir, sir, sir. Yeah, she says sir, <laughs> not mommy. She says sir, sir. mommy. Sir, sir like mommy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I killed her. <laughs> uh, sir, sir, mommy is illegal. Uh, really is. Double crime. You gotta go to double jail now. I'm double going jail. Double jail at once. <laughs> Crimes. <laughs> so Imogen, next game is yours. Okay. Yeah. All right. In prison. Um, let me go back. I scroll. I, I like how I have to read. Like, put my glasses. <laughs> Welcome to what me is cyberpunk, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I. I think animated disagreement. That sounds like something Ooh. I could have in prison. Okay. Everyone. Who plays. are you having an animated disagreement with? Everyone plays. Decide your chosen partner. Okay. Is yeah, but you decide with a, a chosen partner. I'm gonna choose. We all participate. Yeah, I'm gonna choose um, Kelly. I'm gonna choose uh, Count because probably I was stealing from your your plant. So uh, you're you're coming to coming to gloat or, gloat or something. So, so what's the what's the matter of your disagreement? I stole shit from. Him. <laughs> probably the disagreement <laughs> is uh, unless you want to suggest something up there, Count. All I want is information. I'm not giving you information. I'm okay. not giving you the this, things you're trying to do. This sounds like you. a good start. 
What do we what do we notice about your two characters? What have you been up to? Uh you go first. It's your it's your it's your this your your uh your Okay. Pet. Well you'll notice that probably that um Imogen is trying to put on like a brave, cocky kind of face, but like probably she's looking scared she's looking nervous she's probably this is like the first time that she's fucked up real bad so she's she's out of her depth but she's like trying to like obviously try and look like she's not phased but she's phased mm. uh you'll notice the count has rattled. has chosen to do this in backroom mediation rather than open court mm. so the people that are here are here but this is not a public trial yeah uh, uh so he appear is appearing generous yes or or smug oh your call one of the two mm. one of so two. audience members so, take turn posing questions yeah so we're we're not quite here in character but we are we're asking oh, okay. them questions Ooh. that sort of impact how their how their discussion goes okay uh, and so each of you have to answer the the same challenge it's like a debate sure Ooh. We do you want to rebut? First? Yes, <laughs> there is no rebuttal. No rebuttals. <laughs> yeah, but you, there... you could hoot and boo. Is there an objection? <laughs> there, you got it from you. Only by <laughs> us, we get to object. <laughs> yeah, over on the desk. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's my. Okay, I have my first question. Uh, mm -hmm. Please explain how your position carries the weight of tradition, law, and social order. I feel oh, this right. is appropriate. Choose an easy one, Krista. Yeah. Choose an easy one there. This one like, fit really well with I what's know. going on. I know. <laughs> I am trying to be generous. You have committed a crime, but I'm willing to discuss this like peers. We both live on this world. And just because I own many things does not mean that I cannot approach you and we can speak person to person. My family has always been fair, and I carry that tradition forward in this discussion. Tell me why what you were doing. I'm trying allowed. I'm trying to bring back balance. How how did your family get wealthy? There is dirt with the rich, and I'm trying to even the scales to give those that are suffering back something because we've had things taken away from us and we are living at a lesser value than the so-called fairness i haven't seen that fairness growing up and what i'm stealing is to hope to bring a better future that's why i'm in the rebellion all right kellen who do you think won well it's a tough one they're both pretty solid you um, have to choose. I know. I think I'm going to have to go with the count on the point of social order. Because while it is like a return for the rebels, it's still like chaos and there's no like order to it. So I think I got to give the coin to the count. All right, one point to the count. Mm, I have a challenge. Please make a personal attack on your counterpart. <laughs> Would you like to begin? Oh, oh no! I went oh, first no. last time. I know, I know, and you're gonna come in with a finisher attack for me. It's gonna be, it's gonna be horrible. I'm listening. You want me to? Steal? Okay, tell you what. No, 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 I will. I will. I can do this. I will first. I will first. Okay. I'll, okay. <laughs> okay. So it's a personal attack. Okay. Personal okay. Attack. Okay. You're a stuck-up, snobby, rich white boy that has had everything fed to him on a silver fucking spoon. You don't know struggle. You don't know strife. How can you ever imagine what I've been through? Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know strife. 
Do you know what it is to have every knife on a planet aimed at your back? Do you know what it's like to have to feed and clothe those people that hold the knives? To make sure that they are housed and taken care of? And that each one of them maintains the strength and cohesion to forge new knives? To cast new shadows? And then to have the very people you have watched out for turn against you when there are interlopers from the stars who've come here to take what we have gathered together. You know nothing. I may be a privileged white boy who knows nothing. But that is a damn sight better than what I see before me. You are nothing. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> no, I, no, it's great. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, both Ellie, of you. Ellie, Ellie. I think I'm going to audience give it to the count. Oh. It's such a build up on that one. That was a close one. Too, I know. I was wondering though. where was you're good. coming with I the know. personal attack. I was wondering yeah. it's going to get personal because I was like, <laughs> none of this is about me yet. And oh, no. Went, I, had to, I had to rope um, a dope you. You did rope a dope move, man. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I feel like that, that's that's a whole bunch of build up into like, yeah, no, I I think it was a solid attack because I feel like that one would stick with your character more. Oh well, yeah, being called nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, third and final challenge. Uh, okay. What is, did you have one you wanted to hear, Ellie? We we could ask them for their choice of challenge. Yeah, is there a question you guys Ooh, want? Let me look at the, let me look at this list. Uh, or do we want to pose a couple to the audience and ask if anybody has a preference? I I like the express your commitment to your position even if it's not actually true or right. Yeah, that's a fun that one. That's pretty good. Okay. Do you have a do you have a start for that? You can go first start? this time. You can you can start. <laughs> hmm. There needs to be control of everything in life. Your base desires, the economy, the mob rule cannot exist. You cannot bow to pure anarchy. There must always be control. This is not to say that anarchy could not be useful, but pure chaos? Are you enjoying your beverage? Farmers grew the coffee. Merchants sold it to the depot you find yourself in. Order tastes delicious. Chaos spoils the milk, don't you think? I'm reaching there. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's the point. I know, I know. I was like, oh. Wow. <laughs> All right. I know what I want to say. I'm just trying to figure out how to start okay. this. You, I mean, you can just summarize it too. Like it doesn't have oh, to no, be no, like. Oh no, no, no! We're yeah. giving speeches. We're giving speeches. Excuse me. We're, we're giving monologuing. Speeches. Okay. We're monologuing. I'm going to give my presentation to the debate team. All right. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> what? I don't what? know. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, I just, Kellen snorted in the night, I snorted in response <laughs> because I thought it was really funny, <laughs> so then I yelled shit. I thought, because you did it right when I did this, and I'm like, what, did me, like, pushing the drapes aside <laughs> freak you out? It's too dramatic, now I can see your eyes, I leave them. I have a word for you. Hope. People need it. We are in a place of conflict. There is little of it. What am I? I'm hope to people. I have been. I didn't choose this life. It chose me. And there is some tough shit that we are going through. And people need that one person to look up to 
and have some confidence that things are going to be okay. So, yes, maybe it's a bit of chaos, but at least I can provide hope to the few that don't have it. Snaps, snaps, snaps. Who do you think, Illy? Um, Kellen, it's it's your decision. Oh, don't put this on me. You can give it to me. You can give it to me. <laughs> like I'll, I'll, I'll choose. Because I'm I'm gonna give it to Robin if you're if, that, if I'm allowed to voice. I was like, I was gonna say that was very because. Yeah. I feel I'm, a character I'm, leverage I'm, point there for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I like that. Okay. Point for Imogen. Uh, so then what happens with who wins? So at the end of the, the three challenges, you compare coins and you're confident that whatever portion of the coins you hold, so two thirds for, for the count and, yeah. and one third for Imogen. Uh, if they were forced to commit the same proportion of the audience, whether real or imaginary, would be on their side. In this case, it's maybe an imaginary audience. Hmm. Mm. Okay. So the count, that was the rad. count made it. That was very it good. Is, was it? Okay. Yeah. That was, yeah. Been all sides. I think you two did. You did. You did really good on that. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, d- uh, d- d- are Ellie and Kellen like sitting outside with their ear to the door, listening in on this? I I I, I like that idea. Yeah. We're we're watching the the comms, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have to uh, make sure nothing bad happens. He will drop the charges if that's something that he can do. <laughs> Only if you want to piss me off. <laughs> yeah, if you want to go over our heads. The evidence yeah, is I, gone. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. <gasps> Love you, it. I, the evidence is gone. We're all inventing there's... fiction together. Mm-hmm. Or or there or there's a fictitious bill of sale that appears that's like well, she purchased it. She was there doing a late pickup, apparently. It got missed among my supervisors. The person has been fired. Very mysterious, I'm sure. Suspicious. Whichever, whichever you think would make better fiction, either the evidence vanishes through surreptitious means. I, I like the evidence vanishes. Yeah. Okay. I, I like that. It's good and mysterious. Especially if deny right. evidence at the beginning. Oh, I it's my turn. So. It's my turn to choose a game. Mm. All right. Imogen will remember this. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, uh, um, as she's being released, she will give the uh, the count a wink, and she'll kind of like. Huff her chin up and walk out. Yeah, the count's like up on a railing in the distance overlooking the prison transport, just like yeah. dramatic cloak in the wind. Yeah. <laughs> More excellent, back. excellent. Wink I to the camera this. and. So, I am going to choose a conversation over food with Kellen. Oh. I think. Ellie wants a day off. I think we're going down to the planet's surface. We're going into town in civilian dress. So we're going to a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> Exciting. Other players can join freely if it makes sense for your characters to be present at the meal. And what do we notice about each other? I'm going to say you're probably, like, stressed. Yes. I think <laughs> that... Um, Hang on. So for for my solitaire, Ellie was escorting goods and equipment along transit highways and came under fire, and is stressed out about it. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, I guess I would have heard about that. So see that you're a little mm-hmm. down a little in the rattled. dumps. Got it. How about Kellen? Um. Uh, probably like kind <laughs> of almost nefarious. <laughs> uh, probably like just kind of frustrated because like she's been trying to keep you know like we're this we're order we're whatever we're this thing but like even like the person who promotes order is now allowing like chaotic people to get away and like she stuck to all these orders like maybe none of this really makes she just looks very frazzled and like isn't really paying attention yeah. to things yeah I think that's pretty much it <laughs> That makes sense. So do do you two, uh, Imogen and the Count, feel like your characters w- would be present at this random restaurant where we're sneaking Probably. Into Imogen's probably enjoying her freedom, being like, hey, hey I got off. You're just like sitting at another <laughs> table. <laughs> oh my the God. The Count is there in disguise. <gasps> yes! 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 Hold on. Yes! <laughs> he of course has, oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hold on, oh I have to look for this. God, yes. Oh, such that's an excellent so good. disguise. It's such a good disguise. Oh my god. <laughs> so, oh, there is a oh network error. This is ridiculous. Good uh -oh. Lord. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. You you did the Marvel disguise. <laughs> Look, I'm just a member of the rebellion. See? I says right here, I'm member. A, I'm a of, member of the rebellion. I'm just I'm just with the rebellion. Yes. <laughs> civilian scrawled across a hat. <laughs> I love, I picked this up at a Virgin Mobile store, by the way, because they had a ton of these uh, because no one wanted them because they didn't want a hat that just basically said dick on it. And oh I'm like, give me God. two. Yeah, as many as you'll give me. <laughs> as many, they gave me two. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, as we are at dinner, we have someone else who would be joining us in a second I just saw. So oh. one moment. Ooh. Perfect opportunity. Yeah. That's true. Remember mm -hmm. what we Things said are we're getting a wonky do? real quick. Okay. I forgot Red Star. Red Star! Okay, so hold on while I just organize this real quick. Uh, <laughs> whoop. Uh, leave. Yeah, there we go. Which means that I just have to go. I have to juggle something real quick. And as soon as you are ready, friend. You made. Uh -oh. Tell me when I can turn your window on. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, Hello, oh. can you hear us? Uh, oh, may, may need to join audio. Bite of the night. I heard something. I heard something, yeah. I can, I can hear them. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Bite of the nights, can you hear us? Okay, is my microphone working? Yes, yeah! we can hear. Ah, oh, thank the gods. All right. Uh, uh -huh. You will thank Amazing. the count. All right, one sec, turning you live in three, two. Whoops. Hello. Oh, that's the wrong window. Whoops. One sec. Wait, that was. Hold on. That, damn it, I have to move. Okay, so that needs to go up here. <laughs> there we go. I fixed everything. All right, Hooray! three, two, one. Whoops. All Hello. right, now you're on, Night Bite. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Red Star! Hello. Red Star! Red Star! Red right. Star. <laughs> I'm so, Lister here's, Red here's Star how. of the Peacemaker's Rebellion. So. Dude, we're at a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, we're at a restaurant. I have an idea. Yeah. I have an idea for man, this. So man, we're, this is we're, Wendy's. We're playing. Yeah, basically. Basically. This, Ma'am, this is we're a We're playing a game where we're, we're all sitting down to have food. So Kellen and I have come down to the surface in civilian garb to take a break and go to a restaurant. And your fellow rebel Imogen and that darn noble the Count. Uh, oh, there's here no Count in here. The <laughs> okay. He's a member of the so, rebellion. I'm a member of the rebellion. The person in, in disguise is here. <laughs> Uh, so we're, we're sat down eating food. We were about to start that game, talking back and forth. Uh, my question is, do you think Red Star would join as like just a mysterious server who, who is a part of the conversation? Then we figure out who you are at the very end dramatically. Oh, yeah, I can see that. We know who you are when you come in. Uh, I mean, she, I mean, she's, <laughs> I'm Lista Red Star. Okay. Red Star. Like I am an ace pilot in this this entire rebellion and war like not as ace as i've heard <laughs> would you like to see for yourself count or yeah. a random rebellion leader who is totally no, not the I, count? no but i heard the count sure would <laughs> hoot nanny hoot nanny, hoot nanny. Right. he's uh, so dreamy so, Knight, why don't you do a really quick introduction uh, of your character, just sort of the name, traits, and your faction. Of course. Uh, I'm Lista Red Star, ace pilot of the Peacemakers Rebellion, former singer of the Starlighters, uh, whose brother died fighting for the revolutionaries. Charming, inspiring, and resolute. Awesome. Do you want to tell us who you are too, Nate? We can we can do a little shout out and let people know who's joining uh, us. Sure. Um, hi, folks. My name is Nate Knight. I am a variety game streamer with an emphasis on virtual reality, positive mental health, and inclusive LGBT space. We're really happy to. Have and you, you promise not not to tell the VTuber council that I'm not in VTuber mode, right? Uh, no comment. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so much trouble. Bunny, it's okay. You, 
You're wearing a hat. No one can tell. Exactly. That's true. Uh, the the ears disguised. are cleverly disguised. Yeah, yeah. I'm just and a very high definition. And the cake is hot hidden. Model. Well, the, I mean, the cake is in the hat. So I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, some of this is maybe going to be recorded and sent off to the council later, but that's true. Oh, no. Damn it. Okay, well, hopefully they like the game at least. Hopefully they like the game. Someone <laughs> donated one, a one can help. <laughs> what if someone just donated? Ooh. 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 Hold on. Mm-hmm. I'll wait till it pops up on my side screen. Do 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 do. This gives me time to read what dinner is. Yeah, so now we're basically just going to play this by ear. We'll walk through each individual game with you when we when we get into them. We'll, yeah, we'll let you choose the, the next game that we do. But basically, this is like Mario Party. So we're, we're choosing a game from a list yeah. um, with one or multiple other players. And then we, we do a silly thing together where the other players are either involved or the audience. Yeah, For this, this one, is... I chose to, to get food with Kellen. And then everyone else was like, we're here in this restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a conversation we're just over food. We're going to get started right? on it when you, yes, you showed up. Yeah, we're doing a conversation over food. Okay. I'm, I'm definitely picturing this like we're having this really awkward moment where we're like just getting into conversation and sort of our shoulders are starting to go down a little bit. We're maybe going to talk and then freaking Red Star shows up and just puts your tray down and is like, hello. <laughs> you <know what> <laughs> just, yeah, up? just drops a tray full oh, of no. like champagne glasses and it's just like, ha, hello. It's me, Mr. <laughs> Red Star, ace pilot. <laughs> The form of singer with the starlights. The starlighters, starlighters. God, you must be one of those nobles. I don't, I'm just a normal, I'm a normal folk over here. Uh, also, you know who else you brought with you? Tanuki Tim's $50 donation. Hi, oh, Tanuki Tim. How's it going, baby? Thank you so much, Tanuki. We really the appreciate best. the support. Thank you. Yeah, Tanuki is a top tier bean. Tanuki is a top tier bean. Mm hmm. So now that there's all five of us here, for, for conducting the conversation, we take turns, but we start with the person with the lowest social standing. Yeah. I, I feel that's, that's up to three of the people here, but maybe not the counter eye. Just going by my hat. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I think I'm the same, like, rank as you, correct? Okay. We so sort then of we, said would be, that. we would be even. Yeah, that sounds good. So, it's so then I think it's between the rebels. Imogen or Red Star, which Red of you Star. wants to start the conversation? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm almost dead certain that I'm in the lower social standing. <laughs> no, because because uh, Imogen is a uh, is now an ex con. Yeah, I just oh. I just got yeah captured. Well, that's not true. The charges were waived. The charges yeah. were waived. That's true. Mysteriously. Mysteriously. Mm. Oh. Oh, well, never but mind. It actually, it might, it might be sure Imogen. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I th- maybe Imogen's probably the lowest right now. She's okay. a bit. Okay. So right. you can either engage in improvised conversation or ask a topical question or pass. The topical hmm. questions are a lot like the dance where they're like a cute thing you do and you ask someone yeah. for their reaction. Uh, and we just go until we all pass, essentially. Okay. Uh, so is it uh, one of us one of me yeah i'm trying to i'm re- yeah i'm yeah i'm trying to st- <laughs> speed okay. read i'm uh-huh. trying to speed read i guess if 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 Night something Bite gives you one. a way to meet what no continue go ahead some the something gives you a way to me what uh, are you asking that to um, I'm gonna ask the count. What gives you away? <laughs> this guy is so what, good. What kind of restaurant is this? Cheap. Yeah, like a cafe. Yeah. Yeah. That he's just waiting there, waiting for the waiter to show up, and it's not. It's it's counter service, not table service. I, <laughs> this wait is sure taking forever. <laughs> you go up. Like a comma, I mean, mm. ah, like a like an everyman, I suppose. Sorry, they do things differently in space, Nanaimo. <laughs> Jesus, is is that the capital no. city now? Is it space, Nanaimo? Yep. No, yeah, but it I, is I the crown of, jewel, just like this. it was on old Earth, oh, yeah. <laughs> with the best bars. 
<laughs> the city by the harbor. Or I the am harbor in pain. City. I am in pain. Absolutely. <laughs> there was a space oh. Nanaimo bar earlier. You missed it. Yes. Oh my God. Also, yeah. what's in a space a Nanaimo holding. bar? Mostly space bikers. Yeah, I think it's a snail. <laughs> For sure. All right. Yeah, so that, so that's gonna. Some chocolates. That, that sounds he, good. He is going to look like he's basically like going through like a zoo exhibit, like. <laughs> You're taking selfies with peasants. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've never seen someone who makes under six figures a year. <laughs> Cripes. All right, going around the circle. Um, why don't we go with Kellen next? Uh, I'm gonna in a sort of leaned-in conversation with Ellie. Um, I need you to reassure me that we're doing the right thing can you i yes I, I feel so conflicted right now we were directed with all of these tasks and even our own crews aren't maintaining that and i am feeling a little lost i understand and i, I i've been there myself before it's important to remember that bantrel isn't the only planet we're here for everyone, not just the people here. We need to to look out for the people all over the galaxy who, who need the resources and the supplies from here to travel a little bit faster, to get places in time, to take care of people, to get people to healthcare centers in time. That's what this resource is, is for and securing, and that's, that's why we're here. We're here for everyone else. We're here for the people here, too. But we're not only here for the people here. It's hard to to think of them when they're so far away, but we need to. You're, you're right. Yeah. All right. Red Star, do you want to go next? Sure. Uh, what? <laughs> this is such a conversation. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I've got epic gravity music right now. I could do like, oh, hold on. I have cafe music once I- There you go. <gasps> there I we go. cafe music. <laughs> cafe 92.3, the calf. Uh, Ellie, um, no. I would approach you in, in somewhat disguise and kind of reveal a bit of my identity. And I hope to convince you that uh, supporting the Peacemaker Rebellion serves the same purpose as uh as your faction to better spread uh this resource to, around to the people who need it well i don't know about any of that being just a simple truck farmer <laughs> but i do think that if you spread these words around to some of the banter ash particularly that handsome count von rashke <laughs> He might agree with you. <laughs> and might wish to meet with you in private mm. about such a thing. But I am a humble truck farmer. Truck farmer? Just, just, farmer. Farming, just farming trucks. Just farming them Sorry, trucks. Were, were, you, were you approaching my character on that? Yes, I was. Oh, I thought you yes. said Kelly. <laughs> oh, I said Ellie. Sorry, I was oh, going with I know, character names. Almost, almost okay, the same that's why I was like... I was like, oh, okay, I whatever. Don't... Call me by my name. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know if you can get Sorry. Ellie on, on your side with that. She's very the greater good about it. There's more people in the universe than here. Just... She's got to prioritize them. They pay her. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, Count. Do you want to go? Again? So soon? Um... <laughs> I don't think you've asked a question you yet. You haven't I, taken I, part I was, in this conversation. I was making fun of yeah. myself. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, so I will actually target uh, Imogen because we've had an interaction already. Mm -hmm. I, I make an ignorant social or diplomatic blunder. Do you let me recover gracefully or do you hold it against me? I think... Uh, she's gonna let it recover because uh, you l let her. I think she figures that you're the one that dropped the charges and somehow made the evidence disappear. So she's gonna just like, 
uh oh yeah it must be uh that i i i've, I've been to a planet where they, they there's always waiters like it's 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 fine yeah no you just go up to the counter like want to come over we can go get food it's yeah like just just it's just let's go yeah we that would that would be nice <laughs> do you do you do you give them do you give the servants the money at <laughs> do you give the servants a gratuity at time of purchase or when you leave this usually when you buy it it's kind of you pay your food and they, 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 you, they'll make it at this bar over here and you go pick you it up want, when it's done what if you want more food and you just keep buying you just kind of keep going that's inconvenient <laughs> Hey, it's what we deal with. Tell uh, me about it. On this and, planet. And he will he will buy a five dollar cheeseburger with a with a five hundred dollar bill. Uh that is the other thing. Like that is the the, the exchange rate he is doing here. You might not want to flash that around if you're trying to go. Is, oh, fair, and he'll pull out a thousand. <laughs> Do you oh, We're all uh, just covering our covering our faces she, here, like oh crazy. She's gonna pull out a five dollar bill and give it and just like no, no, that's don't flash your money around. I, I, I don't think that's real money. I've never seen one of those before. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. using that small of a denomination. Well, you're, you're not doing well in disguise, right. or th you, you might want to get lower change. Y'all are adorable. <laughs> um, I guess it, it's me next for, for a topical question. Um, I think Ellie is feeling expansive. Red Star, what do you want to know about me? What do I want to know about you? Mm -hmm. uh, what are uh, your allegiances to the Bantresh? Uh, well, she has no allegiances to the Bantresh. She kind of thinks they're a bunch of stuck-up weirdos. She's she's a we should have done her factions too. She's a landowner mercenary. Yes, yeah, I, I did see the, yes. the master document. She she thinks that they're a bunch of stuck up pricks and weirdos you should get with the program because the universe isn't all about them. Okay. Alright, hell yeah. She's feeling she's feeling a little bit a little bit okay, a little bit better with uh with yeah. that kind of thing. I mean I, I think Ellie is maybe a little bit buzzed. <laughs> Probably said something about a little louder than she she should have, but perfect, perfect. <laughs> just just as uh, just as not, uh, list of she'll, she'll quiff something about not being used to drinking in a gravity well. It's complicated. Yes. <laughs> it affects you so differently oh when you're weightless. It really does. Oh my goodness, Kellen, do you remember that time when we were drinking and burping and using the burps to prepare? <laughs> Never mind. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, so Imogen, if you wanted to ask a topical question or pass, it is your go. Um, Not Chef. It was Chef that dicted it. Was it Chef? Okay, sorry. I only saw the pop-up. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Chef. Thank you, Chef. You're a hero. Um, I'm going to ask this to Kellen. Um, I, I hope to convince you that maybe the Rebellion is doing some good. Like, even a little bit? Can I? Probably. <laughs> Fair enough. Probably a little bit. <laughs> if you if you get her slightly apart from Ellie. And yeah, maybe... yeah, probably like while you're like going to get more drinks or something, Imogen's just gonna be like, slide down the bar, be like... So, I mean, obviously you're a mark. It's, you're kind of... It's really obvious at uh, this bar, but like you're just working for this the Stefia people. Like, what about all those the people that the rebellion's doing some good? You have to think, right? At least like a little bit. I know well, it's a lot of chaos, but it, some good is coming out of it, don't you think? I mean, you're taking care of your people, and I think that's admirable. I'm, I'm, I'm just here to do my job, and that involves st stopping you from 
doing what you're doing. And I, that, that's, yeah, you're, uh, you're, you're doing what's right. All right. Grab drinks, walk your turn <laughs> to, to ask someone a question or pass. Oh, um, she, oh, hang on. What do we want? And then after this will be night, just for, for ease of flow, I'll start probably saying the person who's after the next person. On, on the way by, she's going to also see the count. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. And she's going to kind of do that thing where she like stops and then takes a few steps back and sort of sidesteps to the bar where he's sitting eating his thousand dollar cheeseburger. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to, I hope I can get you to commit to... discussions instead of armed engagements okay so she'll kind of slide up and be like um count uh one two three uh i i have laser <laughs> that sees through that so Ah, yes, the see-through laser is very mm. powerful. Yes, total <laughs> lie. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. My I, company developed that. I, absolutely. You know what? It's great technology. I think, I think we all have so much more that we can do together with the Rebellion, with the landowners, with yourself. Do you think you would be willing to push more of the Bantrash towards open talks we are a peaceful people and I would be happy to continue a long standing tradition of peace and camaraderie that so yes yes mm -hmm. I think Cute. so potentially potentially maybe maybe sort of maybe mm -hmm. maybe mm hmm so, nod, flash your glasses at him, <laughs> and continue back to the table to put the drinks down. I will say, he seemed very certain about the laser see-through glasses, so there's a chance this company did make some, so just so you know. <laughs> I love that. It's, <laughs> she thinks she's lying, but they do actually exist. She just doesn't have them. <laughs> you're like, you're like, watch out, I've got the explodes anyone who I point this at weapon. Yeah. Oh shit, you better do what they say. <laughs> you're like, I fooled him. <laughs> And the lady's like, I have one! And you're like, I lied! Boop, boop. I didn't! <laughs> Let's go! They're this is going in a movie script I'm Great. writing now. Yeah. yeah, just wild. Just wild. Wait, did we just design so... lasers that tell you who someone is? Or like yes. x-ray goggles? Yes. I, I think they were x-ray oh. lasers. Oh no, okay. Is... Great. XX x-ray lasers? X yeah, pretty oh. much. They only that's, see Vin Diesel. <laughs> That's that's stealing Triple time X. together. There, that that game is there too. Okay. Up, nice. Uh Lisa Red just... Star, it's your your turn to choose a topical question or to pass. Uh, and then next will be the count. Essentially, once we all pass, we move on to another game. Uh, okay. Um, I'm trying to keep. Uh the count organized or uh, the count occupied while uh maybe one of my fellow rebellion members uh tries to sneak into uh sneak some in, or to some grab some sort of intel or information about the uh the landowners do you go for it yeah i do go for it okay Okay, no, the land landowners or Bantaresh? Because I'm Bantaresh. Uh, well, we're getting intel on the landowners. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, are oh, you getting? Are you keeping us busy or the? I think keeping the count busy. I was thinking oh, so keeping I, the count busy would be. So good I can't interrupt. Was, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Got it. Oh, to get. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. 
just because he's kind of like, ooh, click, click, click with the camera all over the place. And it's like, okay. <laughs> okay, Torius, hold on. <laughs> Spectacular. Yeah. Cool. So does it work? Are you kept are you kept busy count? Well, how do you how am I kept busy? Uh well, she'd probably just strike up a conversation and be like, so I hear you farm trucks. <laughs> uh, what a crazy coinkening. You know, I grew up on a truck farm myself. Did you? I did, well, yeah. yeah. Uh, where, where I come from, we call it a fjord. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Uh, sorry, everybody. Uh, uh, I got to go. Uh, <laughs> I just, hey, I, I, it was nice. really nice to see you. Yeah, nice. thanks. You okay, got to make sure <laughs> the Chevy Levy doesn't break. Shan got stuck before, got stuck before. Oh Shan my god, illegal. I am in pain. <laughs> this is why you come oh, to these games. God. All right, so yeah. I killed the count. <laughs> Just to, to suffer. Oh, you missed well, that part. Be... I have to agree to it. I agree. Yeah, exactly. I, no, no, I know. I know. <laughs> it'll be your choice of game next, so you could have a duel. Ooh, True. Speaking of choices, go. count, I feel like it's your turn to choose a topical question or to pass. Uh, he will pass. He is distracted, so he will pass. And I'm going to okay. open my window because it's bloody hot in here. <laughs> I think Ellie is also going to pass. Imogen? Um, yeah, I think probably pass. Okay, Kellen? Uh, I think I am also going to pass. Okay, Red Star, are you gonna ask a topical question or pass? And if you pass, we move on to another game of your choice. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do one more, uh, if Ooh, that's okay. cool. Uh, to Imogen, actually. Um, I accidentally spilled a secret that I am Lister Red Star of the Peacemaker Rebellion. <gasps> Ace Pilot. Uh, Red Star. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I cover it gracefully because I'm like, oh, I mean, sorry, I'm just a big fan because she's amazing and so cool and really awesome. <laughs> do you pick up on it anyways? Yes, I do pick up on it. I do pick <gasps> up on it. I'm like, undercover. Then a big old wink between the two. I was like, okay, exactly. Gotcha. Cool. Um, by the way, are we from different factions? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. I think cool, so. Cool, 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 cool. You two are from the boat. You're both revolutionaries. Yeah, yeah we're from but... different re revolutionary factions. Yeah, we might be from different revolutionary factions, which means we might actually have rivalry. Nothing hurts itself more than the left. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's true. Darn leftists, the ruined leftism. And Scotland. All right, okay. so then I guess for, for the other four of us, do any of us have a, a topical question or would it be back to, to Red Star to ask or pass? Pass. I passed. Hey, Ash. Yeah, same. I'm going to pass too. Okay, then we're on to the next I my, game. I got my info. Our, our, <laughs> our random food rendezvous that, that turned into somehow such a such a well-attended event yeah. and comes to a close and we go back to our stations. <laughs> uh, between or, or whenever it's not your turn, you can always play solitaire and that sort of determines what other people notice about your character. So if you're looking for something to do in between, uh, you can always check the solitaire list and be like, oh, I think I'm drilling my troops. That's just me, but you know. So Red Star, what game do you want to play? Ooh, uh, that's a great question. I'm, I think so I can tell you which ones we've done so far. If that's helpful, that is helpful. Yes, thank you. So we've done a dance. Okay. We did a chase following the dance where Kellen caught Imogen. <laughs> we made an animated disagreement between the Count and Imogen in prison, uh, mm -hmm. which ended in Imogen's release. Although the Count won the argument. Okay. And then the, the dinner meeting that we just had. Well, after this, uh, this dinner meeting and getting some of the uh, information and stuff, um, I, I don't quite uh, know how the rule set and stuff all that kind of works for this, but I figured that the scenario could be something along the lines of, um, uh, you know, it, it, as the leader of this particular like band of revolutionaries, not like the actual leader of the whole revolution, just this particular mm -hmm. sect of them. You have a squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I actually named them and everything too. I already set this up like a week and a bit ago. <laughs> you are cool. so prepared. Hell yeah. I really appreciate you. I've got uh, Raish, Michaels, Rowan, and Shiro. Uh, they all have their own uh, call signs, which is Live Fire, Tall Boy, Sunny, and Sarge. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Raish is like, Raish is the Lancer character. Tall Boy is the cook caregiver. Uh, oh, Sunny's like oh, the course, kid. <laughs> And Sarge is the ex-military buff trans girl. 
Um, uh, inevitable, inevitable. Inevitable. Uh, and of course, I'm Lista Red Star, ace pilot. <laughs> um, uh, okay. So I'm thinking it would probably be a situation where we were trying to steal some resources and things like that, or some sort of hey, like weaponry or that, something along that line. That could be a you could be doing a tactical skirmish. So okay. essentially, the I don't know if you have the. Do you have the Google Docs that I that I sent open? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, I've got the, the main ones. Yeah. So got, uh, hold on, the tactical skirmish. So that, that's one option for that. So that's yeah. the the one at the bottom, and essentially that's you and someone else. Although you could do two on one if you wanted to bring the other rebels into it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then what that is is you sort of decide on an objective together. And something I really like about this is that the the demands are kind of backwards from your typical game. So let's say that I'm attacking you, I'm going to find your rebel hideout and blow something up. Um, I would demand that you submit or withdraw or you kill one of my soldiers. That's how it works. Instead of submit or withdraw or I kill something of yours, it's submit or withdraw or you kill something of mine, which I think is much more interesting fiction-wise. Yeah. Uh, and so for, for a tactical skirmish, you go back and forth until the victor is determined, and then that sort of sets the tone for the next game, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I was are you rating think, supplies? I was I was thinking it's either going to be like a tactical skirmish or whilst in the middle of doing this rating of supplies, I end up having a duel with somebody who sure. in their mobile frame. Whichever you would prefer, you choose the game. Um, do it sounds like a lot of fun, but the skirmish is also sounds really cool. Um, Attack it! I'm doing the skirmish. Um, okay, who are you attacking? Uh, well, we'd be stealing definitely from. Uh, uh, from from probably the landowners, but it would be probably Kellen. Okay. <laughs> You're just doing your job. I know it. But, uh, you know, uh, Lista is just like those fucking landowners, just doing it all for the profit and money. This is for the people. Um, stand down, so Kellen. <laughs> So are you raiding a, a transport of some sort? How did this battle come about? Uh, well, is this on, would this be on a space colony? I don't, are, are we, do, we, or, do, we do we have like a, that? yeah, do we have like a planet station? Sure. Because yeah. if we have like a, um, like a supply storage facility, maybe Kellen's been sort of, you know, trying to stay out of the field because she's a little questioning of, everything so she's in there doing like inventory when no one was supposed to be in there perfect yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah i'm definitely I'm, I'm definitely into the idea of having like uh like a warehouse or facility that is we just end up kind of robbing and being like all right let's go snag the, all these these resources and and then you uh, you get into a skirmish with kellen and your squad so exactly. each of you need to decide i think i think it's the same number each how many soldiers you're bringing with you into the skirmish um, so I'll probably end up bringing um, the entire squad for it, just because it'll be good to... I mean, Sarge is always right beside me, so um, and so would Livefire. Uh, but we'd probably bring Tallboy and Sunny as well, because Sunny needs to get some experience in this revolution. Okay, so you're bringing four? I'm bringing four and myself. Okay, so Callan, you would have four soldiers with you. Ideally, be prepared to, to name them. Yeah, I'd say that there's probably, yeah, the, there's five of us. Makes sense. Well, four, yeah, four out, and I'm kind of keep four keeping the perimeter, and I'm inside counting stuff. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I will throw out names as they come up. Cool. cool. Uh, okay, take turns making demands of each other. The attacker makes the first demand. Mm-hmm. Go for Ooh. it. Okay. So okay. I guess what is your your objective here? Essentially, your objective, Red Star, is to steal a whole bunch of military supplies. Yes. Kellen, is your objective to to prevent the steal of the supplies, or yeah. are you doing something else? Yeah, just just to to stop them stealing it, because she's still in a in a moment of like, okay, well, I feel like these guys are yes, I want to support them, but I I maybe want to support them, but I don't want them getting more weapons because that's not going to help anybody. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. All right. So the first demand is yours, Red Star. Okay. Uh, if I'm seeing a few, uh, if I'm understanding how this game type works, uh, uh, 
and his blunders in position to uh, okay, so uh, submit or withdraw now, or you're uh, able to um, get a draw, get the drop on Sunny and take them prisoner because they're inexperienced. Uh, I will not. So I will take Sunny prisoner. Prisoner. Okay. Done. Uh, done. Done. And just no, Sonny, you're gonna pay for that, Kellen. Uh, submit or withdraw now, or you pin my force down. No, sorry, uh, or you ambush and capture, um, uh, Theodore, my scout. He tried to sneak around behind you guys. Uh, I'm going to ambush and capture. We are not backing down. Oh, no. Yeah. You've got my sunny. I've got your scout. Theodore. <laughs> Theodore. Done, done, done. Okay. All right. So the next demand is yours. All right. Um. Ba -ba. Uh. Submit or withdraw now, or you take out uh, Tallboy's comm systems and blind uh, blind them. Uh, they expose themselves to deadly fire. Ooh. She will withdraw. Okay. And backing out, uh, Red Star, no one needs to die here. You're right. But every day that you support the landowners, you also support the bench rush, and that's killing a lot of people. Slowly, we'll back out of the building. We'll swap yours for mine. <sighs> for men. <laughs> You're gonna return stunning if I give you back your scout. I will. Old guns down on the ground. We're still taking the equipment. You do what you gotta do. I'm gonna be so mad at you. <laughs> then you have a deal. Kellen, right? And she's First... gonna kind of just push the scout forward, walk over, kind of retrieve Sunny, um, and then just kind of nod her head and just kind of flick two fingers in the air going, till next time, and grab the equipment and get it the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Kellen turns to her squad, who are all probably glaring at her for, <laughs> for standing down and just knowing she's going to get a talking to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, so all weird. right. Game comes to a close. I have a question. Do we want to take a really quick break or do we want to just do washer breaks when we're not in a game? What makes the most sense to, to the I group? think not in a game works pretty well, but okay. we've then got we'll just some time going. in between. I just wanted to make sure that that people weren't like, oh, I can't take a break because I don't want to, I don't want to miss the thing. But I yeah. think we're, well, and, we're and if one of us notice about each other every time too, so. Yeah. Yeah. And if one of us needs to duck out, we can do it when we're not in a game. Yeah, Maybe exactly. If we're desperate. <laughs> So, Count, I think it's your turn to choose a game. Oh. Mm. What is free for all? What does that do? Uh, we are all fighting as individuals, not oh, with our soldiers. We're just in a big old fight. Hmm. Possibly in the context of a larger battle, but we all meet together and specifically fight each other dramatically. I'm trying to think if there's anyone that makes sense that we haven't done so far. I guess we can repeat. I mean, yeah, we can repeat. And we can also, like, we, we ask ourselves how it happens, right? So if there's a game that you want to do, like, you're like, you know, I really want to steal time together or have a duel with someone. I don't feel like we quite can... have, have built up to steal time together, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, well, we, well, we can if, if someone chooses to play that game and can decide how it goes. And stealing time together isn't necessarily like, aha, yes, I consent to romance. It's like mm -hmm. the, the moment for a romantic opportunity. The other party can always be like, no, thanks. Yeah. 
Hmm. Any suggestions, anybody? No, I think they're all. I, they all just see it. They're all lots of fun. And like I said, like like mm -hmm. you could we could redo one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's we could have see. another chase. Yeah. I think uh, I've got police sirens outside, so I'm going to say that's. I'm going to do a chase. There you go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Who is the chase involving? You. Oh, me. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, a, uh, uh, which one of us is being pursued? Uh, I am, well, a mysterious stranger is being pursued. <laughs> You're being pursued, so I'm chasing you? Uh, yeah. Do you want to do this in mobile frames? I think we should do this in mobile frames. What does oh, yeah. your, your mobile frame look like, mysterious uh, stranger? This mobile frame is a specific, uh, is a prototype model called Platinum Ozymandias. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh of my goodness. It is. <laughs> of course it is. My gosh. I, th I think Ellie's is the standard military issue. Oh one of the ones gosh. that has like an attachable drop pack so she can come in from orbit on it. Hell yeah. It's got a classy name like an MX-03. <laughs> oh, that's, that's right. it. It's a little bit, it's a little bit customized. She's got some notches on the side of her gun, but, but that's about it. So I'm going to say, if this is okay with the fiction that's been presented so far, that while the raid was happening with Lissa, uh, with, pardon me, with uh, Red Star uh, and, and Callan, that a secondary um, theft was, be, was taking place at another facility under, basically <gasps> under, under a false flag. That the rebellion sure. knows nothing about, but <gasps> who knows that their comms it's are hacked? You definitely, <gasps> definitely you the rebellion. <laughs> you oh, it's so good. I will have words. I will with catch you, later. you, rebel scum. I will have words yes. with you later. It's just a mech with like the tuxedo mask mask on. <laughs> My work here is done, but you didn't do anything. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bro's the giant ultimate, spear, Rose. The most yeah. perfect disguise. <laughs> Oh, so yeah. you're you're being chased. So you you would conduct it. Um, right, are we are we it. in a city? Are we out in the forest? Are we in space? I, Where are we? I think we are. Uh, we are in a. Uh, we'll say outside of the city in a forest facility, uh, a manufacturing plant for the for the landowners, or something like that. That sounds good. That we'll say mech plants. A biochem facility or something. Biochem. Sure. I mean that's like the the standard industry thing. It can be whatever you want it to be. Is it okay? Let's do, yeah, let's, let's, hmm, what would, they just have stock standard mechs, right? Like the, it, the military, basically? Yeah. Okay, cool. Then uh, I'm going to, yeah, it's going to be for the secret formula, the secret sauce. <gasps> Not the secret sauce. How dare you steal my, my grandmother's <laughs> recipe. That's true. But it's for, it's for whatever biochemicals are being produced, like the, the yeah. formulas. That sounds good. So you've, you've stolen a bunch of data and you're trying to escape now. Yeah, that's what's going to be. <laughs> and so and you're a mysterious this? rebel. Well, you are being pursued, so you issue challenges, and then I throw. So there are some challenges that if I lose the throw, you will gain a coin on. Um, okay. The third challenge has to be an admission, and then we do okay. a total of four. And you can, you can do a challenge or admission every time, but the third one has to be an admission. Fine. I know this grand whale. Follow me if you dare, but throw. Hmm. That coin. So I guess blue is heads or red is tails. It's blue. Heads. Okay, so... I am not plunging heedless into danger, and I need not choose any admissions during the... Ah, oh, wow, you would have gotten you would have gotten out of a whole bunch of stuff scot-free there, so I'm glad that I'm keeping up with you on that one. Okay. Uh, okay, so in that case, uh, I will say... I lead a dizzying course through a switch black and blind... Follow me if you want, but throw. Mm -hmm. Heads again. Oh, damn. Sorry. Okay, so then the third one is an admission? Mm hmm Okay, so I will say... Oh, what's a good one? I risk leaving the trail. I still look back at you. I still look back and you're, you're nearer than I thought. Throw. Okay. 
Oh, it's tails this time. Okay, so that means that nothing happens. Except no, for we're drama. on to the final challenge. Yeah, Ooh. we're still tied. Okay, uh, final challenge. I will say I pick this one as well. Mm-hmm. Yep, you do. Yep, you lead the chase entirely because you are the prey. Okay, uh, I will say. Uh, I race along a high and now Perilous Ledge doesn't work in a mech. Uh, I lead a dizzying. <laughs> well, wait, I we lead... can adjust. We can adjust the fiction. So instead of racing along a high and Perilous Ledge, you could be, you know, ducking between tall trees or mountains. Yeah, we'll or say that it's going to be like between tall or like skimming water way too close for comfort type of thing. Okay, okay, that's a good one. Uh, so, uh, where is that? Race along uh, a high and perilous route. Uh, follow me if you dare. So we're, we're going to go canyons. We're going to do canyons. We're going to go some independence okay, station. That sounds good. That sounds good. Tails. All right. I think you cut a corner a little bit faster than I can, and I need to clutch to a stop to avoid splattering against the edge of a canyon. By the time I get back to the corner that you duck through, you're off my sensors. If only you had. Who did you pretend to be? Uh, I am a mysterious rebel. This is a this is a mech that is not on any manifest. This frame (laughs) is this frame is is a strange prototype that showed up out of nowhere mysterious dashing rebels how I hate them <laughs> mysterious dashing rebels just the worst and <laughs> that was may, a fun chase can, can, I, can I garnish this with one really stupid thing yeah there is at the data terminal that this was jacked in as you go back to investigate one of your subordinates will deliver something left behind a single white flower <laughs> Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> the, the the sort of anime camera will pan out to the next room when you hear a table flip. <laughs> does it pan down and show the flower petals are spread across the floor now? It does, yes. Oh. Dramatically. But so but good. then Ellie's hand comes down to pick it up. Oh, oh scandalous. <laughs> All right. So I think in 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 the circular direction, I think it's Kellen next. Yeah, that sounds right. I yeah, think. I think Kellen. Me. I'm gonna try to keep the same yeah. order that we had before. Cool. Um, where was I? I was gonna do. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. See, I want the like the worried about being caught of stealing time together, but not in like a sexy way. <laughs> make it a make it a spy meeting. Well, that's kind of we, we what can I, absolutely okay. Yeah, you can adjust the fiction. It doesn't have to be. Krista, do you find picking a game the hardest part of this game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I was like a deer in headlights a minute ago. Yeah. I feel you. Um, okay, maybe I, maybe I kind of want it. I should be naming who's next after each game too. So after this one would be image. Who's next. on deck? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Imogen's on deck next. Um, okay, because I kind of want like the tension of like someone can walk in, but I want it. I, I would like to do the just questions of a of over dinner. Sure. And I kind of. I mean, I, I think you you can have your your own advances or questions. Yeah, absolutely. We can adjust the fiction however we we want to need to. It's very flexible. Cool. Okay. Because I would like to do that with Imogen. Um. So, ask how you two came to be stealing time together. I would have reached out to like have a like clandestine meeting. Mm-hmm um to discuss like how maybe we can help each other in our endeavors to mm. perchance find a common ground of like how we can work things out yep okay um, nice what do you two notice about each other uh, you probably wh- notice imogen is starting to look worn down she's she's starting to feel the and more compassionate she's looking probably like she's realizing that every side has their 
the reason and she's kind of like oh fuck <laughs> so she's probably looking very conflicted and not as sure as herself but still putting on that trying to be somewhat of that beacon again because she has the pressure of that okay cool um okay uh words kellen that's who i am uh <laughs> <laughs> uh so, so uh, i'm thinking what what might make sense mechanics wise if we just take the under another's nose section and then put it to the the conversation that would be so what that means is if there is a risk that you would be caught together and it would be scandalous then any player so those of us in the audience uh can after an answer have you throw and on a tails you are caught oh cool. okay yeah. so you guys so essentially the three of you could pick right, so we we get to be like throw yeah okay wonderful dramatically of course yeah oh, of course uh kellen is looking maybe a little like manic like like kind of this like like kind of hopped up and like we get like we, this is what we're doing we're gonna do things um yeah but other than that function as per conversation over food okay um so I guess you would go first in that case. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling expansive. What do you want to know about me? Okay. What is, what is your end goal in all of this, Imogen? Thank you for the $25 donation. <gasps> Tanuki yeah. Tim. No. Yeah, yeah. Tanuki. Yes. Tanuki. Ah, too good. Too good. Too good. Illegally good. How dare yeah. you? Double right. jail. Double space jail. Double space jail. Come join me in no. double space jail. Thank you, Tanuki. I really appreciate you. No. Absolute best. So you asked, what do I really hope to get out of this? Yeah. What's your end goal? <sighs> Honestly. I don't know anymore. I'm fighting this rebellion and I want to help free my people and give them a better life, but I'm I'm starting to see the other sides and I feel like fighting maybe isn't necessarily the way that we should be doing it anymore. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and you can ask a question, or no, I ask, no, I, I, no, I ask I, you, that you was your question. question. Yeah, God that was my it. question. <laughs> How the tables have turned. How the ta um, ta turns have tabled. Uh, I'm feeling generous. What favor do you ask of me? Oh. Mm. <laughs> I... There's going to be a raid upcoming at the uh, the supply. It's a food raid because of my we're starving. We don't want to use weapons. We don't want to use violence, but never, we're hungry. Could there be like less people on guard near the like south entrance? I know it's a big ask, but I I can't really stop it. It's going to happen. And I just want my people fed. She'll pull out like a fancy like pad thing um that and like brings up like schematics of the mm -hmm. the storage facility uh and like looks for the guards and flips through a few things and sort of beep bop boop bit about um and assigns themselves and uh just themselves to this specific entrance mm. in that rotation at yeah. that time and is like you'll you'll be able to get in thank you throw oh damn it oh, which one of us no <laughs> Me, because it was my question. I was oh, gonna yeah. actually say the same thing. I was gonna be like, throw. <laughs> because because Lista would definitely be like trying to peek in on this conversation. Is this Amazing. Uh, um, Tails, Tails, someone shows up, right? On Tails, you're discovered and exposed. Okay. Oh. Heal is Tails. 
Silver. <laughs> yes. We're good. We're good. Okay, uh, Imogen, it's your question. Okay. Um, uh, Uh, I accidentally, uh, oh yeah, I, um, I accidentally spilled a secret that the count was the one that buried evidence that let me out of, out of my, um, my, my, my sentence dupe. I co try to cover it gracefully, but do you pick on, on up on it anyway? I think she had her suspicions already, mm. so she would pick up enough to like confirm her suspicions. Yeah, and just sort of like nod. Oh shit! <laughs> that that might work for us if we're yeah. trying to pull this apart and to find a solution to all of this having someone in the Bantrage's corner might work in our favor and if he's looking out for you that could be good yeah I mean I hope so I, I mean he may want to call in on that favor at some point but I might have an in yeah it might be worthwhile Okay, huh. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Is it, are, Lister, are you gonna call in on Imogen to flip? Sorry, what was that? Were you gonna call in on him? I know you were going to call Imogen to flip this yes. round. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. okay. she would definitely have like tried to keep tabs on. Yeah. Um, what the other resistance factions is doing and stuff like that and okay. who they're interacting with. Okay, let's go. All right. Oh. It's oh. Tails. <laughs> the Peacemaker's Rebellion always knows. <laughs> uh, may I may I present uh Kellen in like they're they're getting really really excited like they're oh there might be this option there's like this option and she'll like grab Imogen's shoulders and like stop mm. for a minute and be like and walks in. <laughs> a brief moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just what? What? Um Lista, uh it's good it's good that you're here. S five <laughs> steps backwards. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Imogen's like mm -hmm. <laughs> What's going on here, Imogen? Uh Is this how your faction conducts things? Collaborating with the landowners and their dogs? I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to end this in the most peaceful way I can think of. I always knew your faction was spineless, but I didn't realize just how spineless you really became. <sighs> the only way this the whole entire thing is gonna get resolved is at the barrel of a gun. We'll make our peace when the rest no, of them are down. That's not the option. Done, done, done. Ah! The, uh, this feels like the the encounter may have come to a close. Well, Imogen, they all... you're next, right? <laughs> yep. Oh. Yeah, Imogen is your game. Your game next. I and think we're going to go to a duel, baby. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Uh, let's oh my go. Yes. Let's do okay. it. Let's, let's go. Let's do Who it. Who are you dueling? Lista. It's time oh, to duel. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, how did you call me spineless? spineless. Sword sword. How, yeah, I think I think the answer of how you came to be dueling is particularly <laughs> obvious. Obvious. Yep. Uh, do you two notice anything about each other? Have you heard anything about each other recently? Uh, if I if I recall, uh, Imogen uh, is known as the Blaze that starts. Mm -hmm. uh... <laughs> Blaze that starts the fire. 
the place that starts the fire. So she would definitely already know lit fire that, that starts uh, the fire. That she is a it's very, lit, very strong uh, fighter. That she was given an impossible task. She would know about that impossible task. But would also chalk a bit of it up to just pff, ridiculous banter in the military you know, amongst uh, fellow rebels, just blowing up the uh, reputation. So she's going to be a little bit like. Yeah, you're not as good as you think you are, I bet. No, she's probably not. <laughs> At this point, she's probably... Yeah, she's she's been put as, like, the figurehead, so, yeah. but she definitely didn't necessarily earn it fully. So, yeah, she's looking... <laughs> but she's trying to defend her honor right now, so she's yeah. just, like, de steely determination. All right, are you fighting in your mobile frames, or are you on foot? Ooh. Um... I would definitely uh, probably choose frames. Yeah, let's do frames. Let's do frames. Okay. Okay. I'll, like you're, you're I'll, arguing I'll with each other to, the whole way out. I'll yeah. go to run and jump in mine, and then Lista goes to chase oh. her, but then Imogen gets in hers to yeah. stop. She's like, stop! <laughs> Fight me! Ooh. Okay, there we go. There we go. I like this. <laughs> just jump into the mobile suit and just... Close in behind me and just flick all the switches on, and you're not getting away. <laughs> <laughs> so, to open the duel, ask a leading question. The better with the sword begins. I feel like from description, this is probably Lista, but it's up to you too. Yeah, I think Lista's probably better with the sword. I don't actually know. I think I think she definitely has a lot of combat experience. She's kind of socially inept in some ways. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. So she would definitely have more focus on the combat side of things, but I don't know if a, with a sword would be, really be that much better. I think her, she's more. Well, it, it doesn't have to be rifle. a sword either. You, you, you can use whichever oh, equipment okay. is on your mech. We can adjust oh, okay. the fiction. Well, that guess like, yeah, you, just you, like you, a... you could have a sniper duel. Yeah, I think it would probably just yeah sort of be like re a... reword the questions so that it makes sense. I mean, yeah. I'm totally cool with doing uh, like a like a beam sword battle. So I was just say laser swords, laser swords. <laughs> what does it do with what's so with a laser, laser sword, sword battle? Laser swords <clears throat> battle. Right. Let's go. Vroom. Fill your hand with iron, you son of a. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can only think of the Got Milk commercial. Laser sword. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll do the leading question. Yeah. All right. Um, I launch a sustained attack with uh, my weight behind it. Do you give ground readily or grudgingly? Grudgingly. She's right. pushing back. That no. Clash. <laughs> yep. Um. What happened? I thought you were the blaze. Seems like that spark is dead. I pretend to falter and dip my blade. Do I draw you out or do you recognize my ploy and hold steady? Ooh. Um, I'd say she's particularly aggressive, so you'd probably draw her out. Perfect. I'll show you the blaze. And she'll like try and do that and like spin around to try and get like the upper hand and kind of back out of the situation <laughs> again. So she's like dips you out and then kind of like takes that opportunity to throw herself farther back and gain back propose ready okay i love this so much <laughs> um you know seeing the, the the lovely and graceful pirouette of your your mobile frame um she's going to quickly with her ace pilot stills um she's gonna get herself flipped back around into a slide and then thrusting back upwards towards you i thrust and you barely turn it a fraction slower and you'd been cut through does it exhilarate you or chill you? Oh. I think it chills me a little bit. I think she's like, oh, okay. It's getting serious. Um, I take you down and you know point, what? I make a name for myself even more than I already have. At this point, you can start asking closing questions. Oh. You don't have to, but you yeah. are both now allowed to start. That was the third cool. question. Um, uh, how? Oh yeah, that she kind of like you. Um, you you slice the, the mech, 
You cut me along the uh, the arm. Do you press your attack or give me a moment? Hmm. I think she would probably press her attack a bit more. Ooh. She's very aggressive. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I guess that would lead, go to a leading question again, or potentially a closing question. Um, mm-hmm. You could potentially go to a closing question. Yeah, I think I'll let you go to a leading question. Okay. Um, I have my sword, after that lovely cut and stuff like that, and pressing my attack, I now have my sword pointed your clavicle, or uh, chest portion of your mech. Um, do you submit, or do you twist away and rejoin the fight? I think she still has a bit of fight left. Uh, <laughs> And so she's going to try and twist away and like kind of re, um, restable herself. And, um, but I think I overreach slightly and you have an opportunity to slip in a dirty little cut. Do you take it? Mm. She's getting a little, she's getting a little, uh, klutzy right now. Oh, 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 I'm looking at the closing questions and they're all really rough. Right. <laughs> oh, what are so... mm-hmm. uh, and, and so remember, we, we can adjust the fiction you are in your suit, so death could be the death of you or your suit. Should okay, cool. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. All right. I pierce your side, but in doing so, leave myself open to a return stroke. Do you deliver it? Yeah, I think she does. Yes. I think she's like, no! Yes! <laughs> yes. Ah. Um, does that end the duel, or does it yes. continue somehow? Uh, how is, it's, how is a, it? it's a closing question, so... Yeah. I would yeah. assume if you so don't it, it sort deliver of depends. it, it would end it. Yeah. yeah. It, it depends on the... Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It, it's up to you two, really. Like, if you want to try to fight back from the ground and get another shot in, but I think you're you're in trouble. I'd I, I'd say yeah, if she got a good enough hit on on yeah, Lester's probably. mech, it's not like a super expensive good mech. Like, it's just been <laughs> retrofitted with a bunch of parts and stolen military uh, gear slapped onto an older frame. So yeah, I think she probably knows like a good spot to hit on the yeah. side where there's like a basically like a, the kill switch where she's like if i know i stab here i'll get a lot of the electrical wires running through the mic and so she probably does that disables it and then she just flees in her mech she's like <laughs> you get back here you spineless ah and she's just the mech's gonna drop to the ground to the knee and she's gonna try and like crawl forward a little bit like <laughs> you won't get away twice next time Next time, Imogen. <laughs> Next time, Imogen. <laughs> I would be no, oh All right. And so I think I think it's me next, and then after yeah. me, it will be you, Lista. Cool. Um, I feel like there was a lot going on that neither of us noticed. Count. Perhaps <laughs> we were stealing some time together. Oh, wow. How That's did we little... come to be stealing time together? I don't know that you're the thief. Maybe I came to ask you some questions? Of course. I would love to have you over for dinner. And perhaps dessert. Perhaps. My the the classic, sure. you know, radar tracked a, an unknown frame through the edge of what, what's apparently your land. Wanted to see if you caught anything about them. Unfortunately, not much. We saw some readings on the distance, but unfortunately, aside from the mobile guard that we have, our... Well, when the landowners arrived, our mobile frame factories were, of course, taken offline. So aside Mm -hmm. from our standing troops, it appeared to be something much faster than any of our troops could attack, and we noticed that you were in pursuit. That uh, your really an alarming piece of equipment for the rebellion to have. She's gonna true. take a little bit of food from very close to your plate and sort of inspect it. Like she's not really that familiar with what it is. Mm, no, this with a little bit of the dollop, the green stuff. Try it, and uh, he'll oh. feed her. Mm. 
Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like an advance. It does sound like... So let's um, see, what is this? Uh, oh, so I, will say, I will say you may. We, we okay. can make that our... That, that can be the opening one. Sure. I think in All response, right. she will touch his fingertips. May she? Uh, she may. Got a little, a little stuff here. <laughs> oh, sorry, Kevin. No, I, I love this. I'm just, I'm reading all the answers. I'm getting into this. Sorry. <laughs> I love your reaction, Chris. <laughs> <You're just like laughs> you may, but at this moment, we're interrupted. Uh, it's just. <gasps> by is that someone else or just the butler or mm, i feel I, it's, I might it's be me. running i think i'm being interrupted by an emergency comms alert from mm. either kellen or something else that's been going on okay sure. i'm getting that that d d d d d d d that like military alert comms i touch your off button for the comm system may i <laughs> <laughs> Who's calling? Kellen, is it you or is it mm -hmm. someone else? Because as far yeah. as I'm concerned, I'm being chased by Lister Red Star. I don't answer. Oh. oh. All right. So, uh, what's your what's your what's your rebuttal to this? What's your answer? Mm, I touch your hair. May I? You may, and uh, <laughs> but only for a moment. <laughs> You should really try the wine with this as well. It's, it's still just beeping. <laughs> okay. Um, so... Oh, shit. What, it's um... tails. <laughs> okay, if there's a risk that you'll be caught together. is This this is, would be a um, risk after maybe the you're fact, just, though. Maybe you're right? just... Potentially, yeah. Maybe we... We, we we fade to black and then you're you're assuming that I'm in trouble so you force video yeah, of course. to my comm system. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Uh like your mech is parked outside the mansion and she's like, oh shit. Yeah, it's and in the visitor park. In. <laughs> <laughs> and so she like accesses yours and like looks up like your personal cab and it's like on the floor somewhere. <laughs> and she's like You see a couple of ankles writhing. <laughs> <She's dead. laughs> uh uh <laughs> Oops. Okay. Store that away. All she's wow. wearing is the hat right now. <laughs> no, the count's wearing it. I was gonna say the count's wearing the hat right now. I'm wearing the wig. <laughs> yes. What wig? <laughs> this is this is his hair. What are you talking about? Of course, of course. <laughs> oh, I love this. Is that drawn okay. curtains then? So that is not, we could draw yes, curtains. I, I think we've drawn curtains, but I guess do do either of us know that we've been caught? I feel like Ellie wouldn't catch on. I no, probably not. No, this sounds mm, like this. You just, this sounds. Mm, you just know this thing, and your tickle spots. <laughs> I oh, done, done, done. Well, we're gonna have a duel in a couple of rounds, and I'll be like, "Attack her elbow! It's a weakness." <laughs> She's so ticklish. She's so ticklish. Right? It's, it's, it's like that she part is, of she is very what, ticklish. Is her knee. That's what it is. Her knee. Like in uh, Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, just the behind me. I think it's. I think it's your game next. <laughs> this is it's whose game next? Mine. Yours. It's no. Sorry, it's oh, Lista's game Lista's, next. Lista's. Yeah. That'd be me. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I acknowledge the comment? This is the family hair. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean. All right. Well, in the on, on the Reddit for this this show, it is that is what I was arguing with my sister about in solitaire. Is that right I, of the uh, sister? Rashkes. It's my turn to wear the hair in this. <laughs> it is my turn to wear the hair. The pride of the von Rashkin. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. What's that guy? Go for it! Oh my god. Oh okay. My god. Um, so, so I'm thinking this scenario would probably be next. Uh, that um, 
it would be another intelligence gathering operation and Lista was uh, at this kind of ball situation. Um, oh, is it a dance? A dance, yes. I was thinking a dance might be a good one to do for her where it's kind of just on the heels of this intense duel and fight. You know, she's continuing her struggle to uh, get more information on locations of the resource and maybe guns and things like that. Uh, so Who's she- Who's your chosen dance partner? I would actually like to have my chosen dance partner be, um, I had my, my my duel and my skirmish. So uh, Ellie, would you like to be my dance partner? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. How did we come to be dancing together? Um, I'd imagine a, a scenario where it's like she had tried to infiltrate this this kind of formal gathering and ball kind of situation. And while, again, kind of in the same idea as before, while she's attempting to distract and maybe plant bugs and things like that on particular uh, high name officials, um, you end up recognizing her and just kind of sweeping into a dance of like, well, hello, Red Star. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I hear you're an ace pilot. Let me see your footwork. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is your ability in, on a in dance floor uh, translated from the mech? <laughs> Krista, I appreciate you. <laughs> I'm just here for reactions. <laughs> right? well, are are so any of the three of you, do, do you feel like it makes sense to your character to be at this dance? Is this like some landowner function? Is this perchance the same night as Imogen's food thing, in which case Kellen was supposed to be here but is not? Oh, yes, mm -hmm. the raid. Mm -hmm. It would be a good time if a lot of the high ups are at like a a thing. Fancy ball. Mm -hmm. So yes, Imogen's not there either then. Yeah, so this is like a landowner okay. something. Although I think we, we sort of, we had, because the duel was following that, right? So if this is following the duel, but yeah. you two could be having a, some sort of further discussions. Yeah. That might make sense, yeah. Yeah, this is, well, because yeah, we, immediately after the duel was you and the Count. So this is like maybe the yes. next night. Yeah, I think that makes okay. sense. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So then is it just Lista and Ellie at this thing? At some moment. <laughs> okay, maybe that'll change, maybe it won't change. Uh, so the worst dancer asks the first question. Lista, which is a, which of us is the worst dancer? <laughs> Definitely Lista. <laughs> okay. So you ask the first question. Okay. Um, well, right off the bat, um, I lose my place in the dance. Uh, do you let me stumble or do you draw me back into place? I draw you back into place and whisper, don't draw attention to yourself. Why are you helping me? Move like this. Because if they catch you here, I'll be in trouble if I don't arrest you immediately. Which I still might. I, of course. In this conversation, Ellie's mouth is close to your ear. What do you say? Uh, but, uh, uh, <laughs> she just, she just, she just bottom texts. <laughs> You generate a new secure password for Ali. I generate I a new secure password. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Uh, so yeah, she'd probably just... Uh, yeah, she'd probably try and compose herself a little bit. You know, just... Uh, and, <clears throat> I, why? I don't understand. You seem like such a... Like your motivations are good, but yet you seem to also only motivated by money, by being able to sell the resource. It should be for everybody. Um, and then while being uh, so intense about this, my hair has fallen in front of my ear. Do you touch my face? I do, and I pin it back behind your ear. It's so disheveled. <laughs> And I feel the same. I am doing this for everyone. Just a bigger everyone. If it gets distributed amongst all the people, everybody equally, that means all of them. But by selling it like you do, it classifies it only to those who can afford it. That's not right. True, but does everyone have an interstellar logistics network? 
should be done for the benefit of the people, not for the benefit of the wallet. <laughs> hmm. At this moment in the dance, you laugh at what? Uh, I, I probably laugh out of a slight bit of nervousness about how close uh, we are in this dance. Just... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> sorry. Ellie makes friends easily, apparently. <laughs> I mean, she's good-hearted. Yeah. Yeah, it's so got that. She's regularly she's got tested. That <laughs> Very openly hearted. Mm. <laughs> Bunny-hearted, maybe. Hmm. So hey, oh. Done, well done. 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 Well done. All right, so we've asked two questions, so the the dance will will come to a close. Okay. Uh, next up would be Kelly, followed by Kellen. Sorry, next up would be the count, followed by Kellen. I'm gonna run to the washroom really quick, so I'll be back in two minutes. Sounds good. You can I'm wait for me, the... or or continue. It's up to you. Um. <clears throat> consider. Consider. I am going to have a. I'm going to have a, ooh, is it stealing time together or is it? Well, we could, like, I kind of mishmashed. Yeah. I'm yeah, we could it. probably mishmash things. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to steal some time together with Imogen. Ooh. Uh, Imogen is going to receive a private radio transmission to her mobile frame Ooh. that says meet me out beyond the first moon or something like that meet me in meet me in dead space meet me in st louis meet me in st <laughs> new 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 st louis new 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 new, new, new st louis okay clang 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 with the big bat ding ding <laughs> bang, zap bang, zap bang, zap with the laser <laughs> Ridiculous. I Sorry, zap 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 when the laser is bing bang bong when the mech. That fits exactly. <laughs> exactly. Have any of you guys watched Schmigadoon? It's no. It's very good. And it's on Apple TV, which sucks, but it's Same. very good. I'm waiting for Apple TV to fold so that someone else can buy it and put all the programs on from it. Yeah! Right. Schmigadoon was amazing. Ted Lasso is incredible. Is it? Oh my god, it's so good. I literally both laugh and cry. Wait, like, I get... laugh to tears, and then happy cry, and then sad cry every episode, without Aww. fail. Hmm. All right, so we'll, we will do that. Do you go ha do you go to the meeting? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's use the rules like they did. So let's use the rules for a conversation over food, maybe? Okay. So what are what are you doing? We're we're having a secret space rendezvous. <gasps> a secret spawn rendezvous. A spawn rendezvous in, ma spawn in Max. Day so take turns. The person with the lowest social standing taking the first terms. If this isn't clear, so I'm not revealing who I am. This I'm in I'm in special stealth. Max. Oh, you're in special stealth Max. So she just received a random. I guess she's. You probably like had some. You made it uh, a good tasty morsel come and meet with me i have something you need something that can turn the tide mm. yeah that would get her out that would get her out so yeah, she'll go out and her so, uh rebel mech I'll, I'll say that you have greater social standing in this in this interaction though okay because you're the one who accepted the mysterious offer yeah okay sounds good so you take the first turn oh that's the lowest one goes first oh yeah, you go first. Aha! All right, fine. Uh, so ask a topical question. I hope you didn't bring back up, did you? It's just me. Good. So we can have this conversation as normal. Are you serious about your efforts to arm the people against the invading landowners? The rebellion is serious. I'm 
not so sure anymore. But I am a symbol of hope that if it weren't for me, the rebellion would surely crumble. So I have a duty. Even though I'm feeling more wrong about it. Mm -hmm. Do you want to ask a question? Yeah. Okay. Also, what's that weird squeaking noise in the background? Sorry, that's my fan. I can turn it off. Oh, yeah. Just turn off the rotation. It's doing the rotating thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Turn oscillation. it back on. Yeah, the oscillation, oscillation make, it squeaks. Because she needs know, double WD-40. I know. <laughs> okay, now I can't. And get back to me. Come back. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you have a problem with your mech fan? <laughs> yes, it needs a bit of it needs a bit of, of work right now. It's overheating. Uh, it's overheating. Are you um, too hot? <laughs> oh count. Oh count. She doesn't know it's a count. Um I need you to come clean about who you really are. Do you? Uh, partially. Partially. I will say that he comes clean to say, I'm a friend. I want the landowners away as much as you do. And I'm willing to provide everything you need to help get rid of them. You have mechs. You need weapons. I have a cache of weapons. We could be friends. I also have food. But I need you to do me a favor. I hope to convince you to focus your efforts on a single target, being the landowners rather than the Bantarash. Uh, I, he will do this under the guise of you need to focus on the immediate threat. I see your point. I need to focus. We're spreading our resources too thin and it's showing. Then are we in agreement? I... I think... I think we are. Traitor! <laughs> Alright, so I think that is the moment where we have to flip a coin. For stealing time together portion so because mm. at the end of the third exchange any player may enter up by having someone else enter the scene uh, otherwise you continue your conversation exchanges until you draw a curtain uh so if anybody wants to interrupt uh i was gonna say is it feel... either one of us oh, so it's a rip there any player may after an answer have you throw on tails you're discovered Oh, then. I'm voting. I, th I think it should be Kellen. You should you should make them throw. <laughs> okay, throw. <laughs> okay, already. So yes. the 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 part with the raised vid is heads. Ah, uh, that's tails. Oh, we're discovered. You busted. Uh, busted. Kellen is coming out because they discovered they searched up Imogen's mech and was concerned because it was out in this with the same big scary badass mech that was from the other thing <laughs> and so kelly comes out and realizes they're not fighting but in fact conversing Shakus. all right <laughs> uh she will fly out see what's going on and then immediately like get away as fast as possible to go like seemingly go report it all right so i think that's a curtain who's whose scene is it or whose game is i next? think it's kellen's next Oh, Callan, you want to chase? Or you want to oh. fight? What do you want to do? Uh, it's your choice of game. It's your choice. You can also what, just go okay, do your... Okay, so I have two options. One, you have like 10 options. Well, in, in my brain, I have two options for myself. Um, one, would Imogen or the Count chase her down? Maybe. Maybe if you notice and 
because Imogen's seen your mech, so she knows what it looks like. So she may have spotted and gone, oh shit. Yeah. Prove your worth. Prove your agreement. Oh no. <laughs> I don't try to control F chase. Because there is there is a two on one fight mechanic in this. There if is. Kellen wants for, to do that. If you, skirmish, if you only yeah. if you want to do this, only if you want to do I'm, this. I'm totally down. If you want to do a tactical skirmish, but like just with you two and me. Yeah. Yeah, with no soldiers. Yeah. Uh -huh. That might be. Yeah, let's like, do it. It's usually the soldiers that you're. I think we could do chase with both of them chasing. You. Sure, let's that, do that. We could yeah. probably make yeah. that work. Okay. You and then they're, they're the questions. Yeah, they're yeah. combined. Yeah, they would combine toss, and so essentially you need to outrun them both. Okay, yeah. so we'll just go back and forth. Awesome. Okay, so I'm being chased. You're the quarry. Uh, okay, so I we are the the easiest way is to for for you to pose the the challenge as the the quarry, and for both of them to react to the same one. Fabulous. Okay, that sounds like a great idea. Um, I'm gonna go with I know this ground well. Follow me if you dare, but throw on tails. You're plunging headless into danger. Probably like. I, we're in like an asteroid field that like is mm. just outside the landowner's space station. You know mm. this asteroid field well. I do know this asteroid field. Um, uh, and so on tails, you're plunging headless into danger and I need not choose any admissions during the chase. Oh. So if both of you throw tails, I won't have to have any admissions. All right. All right. <laughs> Heads. Heads. Tails. Oh, I almost sunk you there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, so, okay, so then Imogen is closer, but yep. Count is just behind her. Count Count is more trying to watch to see what Imogen will do, too, so. Got it. Okay. Um, I'm going to say I pressed through a thorny briar, but I'm going to say the asteroid field gets tighter. Um, mm -hmm. Follow me if you want, but throw on tails. You're tangled and torn and must extract yourself, and I gain a coin. Oh, so ooh. either of you get tails, I get a coin. Yeah. Can do we? Can we choose not to throw, or do we? Have I was to gonna throw? say because if if you plunged headless into danger, maybe you stopped at the field, and so it's just mm -hmm. Imogen now. I'm gonna let just Imogen throw that, okay. and I'm gonna go around the slow way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go, Imogen. Oh, it's spinning. Oh, it's tails! You get a coin! Yes! Okay, Kristen has Imogen a coin. gets, like, trapped between, like, two asteroids that were coming together, and she's like, Oh, no! Um, okay. <laughs> lasers! So I'm going to do an admission here, then. Ooh. Um, I've led myself into a dead end and have to dash past you to win free, so there's a great big asteroid I can't get around. Um, uh, throw on a heads, you head me off and gain two coins, but on a tails, nothing. Okay, so I guess that's my go then, because I took the slow way around. Oh, I guess theoretically, yeah. yeah. Ooh, sure, yeah. Yeah, I like I that. I like that fiction-wise. Oh, tails. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. So you oh, come, I fun. come up, I dodge past Imogen around a couple of things, just get past her, out of the asteroid field to have the what was it the platinum ozymandias platinum ozymandias <laughs> so but pronounced like a british person pronounces america platinum ozymandias right? <laughs> that kind of like gravelly like house doctor strange voice yes. uh oh okay gosh. so one more yeah and it's uh, either a challenge or admission this is up to you da, da, da. There are other enemies ahead of you and you must suddenly change your course. Well, no, I was going to go with, I risk leaving the trail and standing quiet while you race past. So I'm going to risk ducking behind a big asteroid and hope that you guys both go past me. On a heads, you spot me and don't overshoot. And so you gain two coins. I'd say both of them get to roll this. Okay. Yeah. So I want both of you to get tails. Heads. I, I got tails. So <laughs> this coin does not, it's, it's not really designed, I think, for this. If you didn't notice, there's like a giant knob at the top. Yeah, oh, see, mine's... mine doesn't have that. Mm -hmm. Mine's flat, but I got heads, baby. That's okay. So 
You get so I'm... you got the two, which means mm -hmm. you beat me. Um, so you get yeah, so you get two, uh, which means if the hunter has as many coins as you, I choose. Uh, I've somehow turned myself around. I blunder into you. I've come to some temporary security. Here is where I go to ground. It doesn't really seem to. Oh, I guess I'd just be like stuck there. Um, yeah, you're like hiding in an asteroid or something. Uh, your allies have cut me off and I'm brought to. One of you ends up past me and you, you know, he realizes that she's stopped and comes around and kind of get me stuck against this asteroid. Yeah. So I'm stuck. All right, so how does this resolve after the chase? That's up to you in the fiction. Are you captured? I, are the you guys going to take me in? Or? Imogen's. Oh, this could so lead yeah. into another game. Do you want a duel? Could duel you again. I could I'd do another duel and I could duel you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure. I'm it's down. It's up to you, Imogen. Whatever, whatever game you think it would be. I mean, it depends. Also, we could have dramatically Ellie and Lista Red Star show up at this exact moment and it becomes <gasps> a free, free for all, all free for which all. I kind of love that <laughs> idea. Yes. Let's do it. Let's have a free for all. Free for all. All right. Oh, yeah. cripes. This is going to be a mess. I've I've sent okay. off emergency beacons to get help. And I and guess oddly, hmm. Lista responds. Oh, I'm feeling like is, is this happening while while we were having our our dance on the station? So yeah. we're yeah, both so on the station nearby, and we both get the alerts. Yes. 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 This is beautiful. Okay. So this is an everyone plays. Our characters meet in our mobile frames to do battle. This is crazy. Uh, so Imogen and Kellen, I guess you would determine where the battle takes place. It sounds like it's in an asteroid field. But in an asteroid more field. Details. Um, I guess we, we should also do a round for what we notice about each other. And you can say what other people notice about your character. Is it just an asteroid field? Is there other stuff around here? The debris of battles passed. Like there we the last, go. Like, I like the that. the last rebellion that failed yes. exploded through space. Yes. Ah, that sounds sick as hell. Ooh, what's happening? We're being raided Hybrid. by Ravnos Archon. Hi, Ravnos. <gasps> Welcome, Ravnos and gang. Thank you for the raid. Okay. So, um, I mean, I, I can start with what you would notice about Ellie. Ellie is very smirky on any video feed right now <laughs> specifically a note to kellen <laughs> she looks like she's very entertained <laughs> and kind of relaxed her shoulders are down she's Ooh. having a good time Ooh. yeah what do we Thanks for joining i guess me. we do do we notice anything about the counter are you hidden in shadow he is he's there in his super fancy mech or super fancy mobile frame, I should say. But are you cleverly in disguise, or are you there as you? Uh, he's in disguise. This is uh, this is an unauthorized mech. Yeah, this is that mech. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna get that mech this time. Ooh. I think I recognize. Kellen? Oh, Kellen, go. Oh, Anything sorry. You notice about your character? Uh, she's. It, it, you would see her on like you know vid screens and stuff. She's like almost crying. She's like st like stressed, but also like upset and like feel like it's cry like, angry. she okay. she's feeling yeah. very betrayed, but she's like cry angry. Oh no! <laughs> Imogen's right, probably feeling. looking conflicted uh, again. She's like she's like ah I actually really like Kellen as a person. But food and weapons, food and weapons. <laughs> you can't defeat Captain Capitalism. No, exactly. <laughs> or Captain <laughs> or Aristocracy. If we blow up his goddamn mech in space, we will. <laughs> there is another Von Rash. Dun, dun, dun. Not if the oh, wig goes. The wig is immortal, the wig is Starscream. It's, it's <laughs> the all spark. Oh no. no! The wig just contains the the consciousness of your entire Wait, family is she legacy. Here? You just put it on the next the next heir. It oh, becomes no, I you. I have terror sore. I don't have. That is, right. is there anything that we would that we would notice about Lista on vid screens? Red star. Oh, I think you're you're maybe muted. That's how your mouth move. Nothing. 
you could type in chat and I could be your voice for a moment. No, no can't hear you still. <laughs> oh, nose. Check that you didn't mute yourself in Zoom by accident, maybe? No, she. Yeah, the Zoom doesn't look muted. There you go. Oh, oh there we go. Him. You're back. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. There we go. Oh, Sorry, voice not as being weird. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I you would notice uh, pretty quickly you should be obviously flying essentially side by side with Ellie in terms of mech. Um, mm -hmm. And on the screens, you'd notice a fierce amount of determination and uh, almost a deadpan like stare, burning stare at Imogen. And just really as if trying to side with the lesser of evil wasn't bad enough you're gonna go with the greater evil <laughs> so imogen this is yeah. your game so you go first and then we go in circles around the table so it would be i guess you me lista then kellen okay um okay challenge do to do, do um well, wait, you me list uh, the count, then Kellen. Sorry, count. Mm -hmm. You do count. Okay, uh, I'm... Oh. Torn. Torn. Um... I'm gonna rush... I'm gonna rush Lista. Oh, <laughs> I'm faster than you'd believe. Can you react in time and get away? how she like sees Lista and like that glare and she's gonna be like ah! and just whoo, take a sharp right <laughs> oh dang okay okay go for it uh and then I would reply with another challenge is that the idea I know you sort of describe how you resolve it oh can you okay, react so... in time and get away uh yeah. yes yeah she can react in time um uh, her 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 on foot uh, combat abilities, like as in her personally on foot, is non-existent. But when it comes to a mech, well, that's where she shines, especially <laughs> in space flight. Ace so, pilot. doing a ace pilot <laughs> for the Peacemakers Rebellion, uh, and yeah, she's, so she's gonna kind of do spinning's a neat trick. Let's do that, um, <laughs> and she's gonna <laughs> do a really high high speed flip, uh, kind of spin into an aileron roll. Um, and kind of just flip back around, stop hard in place, and then kind of fly backwards uh, in pursuit of you. Nice. That sounds sick as hell. Um, I guess next in the queue is Ellie. Ellie is going to look at that freaking platinum Ozymandias and open up with every single missile on her mech. Oh, I open shit. fire on you, pounding you yes. with everything oh, I've got. God. Can your frame take it, Count? Oh, I don't uh, know as it Count. Uh, it can, but you're going to be able to disable my long-range weapons. Oh. Ah. Do you have so to block with your weapon? Yeah, he's going to have to block with his gun arm. Yeah, she's Ellie's going to look at the scene, sort of scan <laughs> Kellen's mech, see that there's been maybe some combat, a lot of, a lot of tears in her eyes, and she's basically going to scream in rage, do that like eye-tracking, targeting on you thing, and unload. Just completely unreasonable amount of missiles. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> There you go. Yes, exactly. There we go. There exactly we go. There we go. <laughs> You're up next. Count, but not the count. Mystery count. Uh, so through the explosion array, basically, just like this huge fireball in space, because of course, um, uh, you're going to melt that all of the armor and guns off of his arm, but in the fire uh, ball that erupts, he is going to fall out of the sky on you like a hunting bird. Just basically Ooh, using cute. that as coverage. Do you survive the attack and how? Yes, but it costs me an arm. Okay. Ooh. So this is going to be laser oh, sword. It costs the mech an arm. Yeah. You yeah. slash right through it. She dodges at the last possible moment. She did not expect you to move that quick. This is Kelly, not a duel for next. you. Do you send that through? Yeah. Do you have a recognizable voice? <laughs> Does this sound like my recognizable voice? I know, carry on. Damn straight. <laughs> Kellen, oh, Harwar, when did you show off? I've been here the whole time. <laughs> Destroy the past. 
Except the Bantarush, they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what Imogen's hearing in her back. Uh, Where is Solo? <laughs> Kylo. Uh, is, who's next? Is it me? It's you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to go after Po. Platinum Ozymandias. I'm not Poe, you Poe. I'm giving you a dumb name, what up? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can't, I'm the number one selling mech at Toy Fair. <laughs> uh, I get the drop on you and hit you with a roaring jet of flame lasers, So because it works yep, in space yep. that way. Steel meltingly hot. Can your frame take it? And how? Ooh. Coming up behind you. Yeah, I know. I think, I think that this is a front. I'm gonna say, for purposes of survival, yes. But I'm gonna say that uh, you're gonna be able to knock out, uh, basically, his his guidance thrusters. So he's basically like life support still going. I think he's gonna start plummeting. Ooh, getting caught in the gravity well. Get, yeah, because basically he he can use ground thrusters, but that's about it. Oh. Like emergency, like don't crash and die thrusters. Yeah. <laughs> but the big nice. the big jet on the back is gone. There you go. Awesome. Yes. All right, Lista, I think you're next, and then we're back to Imogen. Uh, well, kind of having her. Uh, see what happens and seeing Ellie's mech's arm just whoosh, fly off in the distance and all this other thing going on in her other screen while still chasing Imogen. For a moment, she kind of just halts a little bit, freezes a little bit in place, thinking about turning her mech around and trying to defend Ellie, shaking her head, going, what am I doing? No, I have a mission. And <laughs> kind of <laughs> continues forward. Um, and decides uh to uh, let's see uh i'm gonna open fire on imogen pounding with everything i've got can your frame take it how i think because it hasn't been really um hasn't been touched yet she's gonna it's gonna like it's gonna survive but now there's a lot of beeping lights on her her like comms board and dashing and she's probably she's now lost majority of her firepower um but she's just gonna be like Aah! as you open fire as she's gonna she's just gonna be there and she's gonna be like barely surviving being her. being oh sorry god oh no it's fine uh, I was going to say, being reckless with the amount of fire that she's loading out into your uh, uh, into your uh, your your mobile frame, though she's going to actually waste all of her ammo, so she'll only be reduced to sword only. Ooh, ooh. Uh -huh. All right, Imogen, this is your second and last turn this game. Okay. Um. Uh, do, 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 do. I think at that distance. Um, I think uh, she's gonna. Huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm just trying to figure out. I think she's gonna. She's gonna reach up her like. <laughs> gun that is very badly damaged and she is going to try and fire off one last like plasma blast with the uh and she can put a shot i and she's going to aim for your reactor core yes do you avoid my shot <laughs> no because she's so hyper focused on trying to get you because she's like you i told you before you're not getting away a second time and just flying right before you with sword and plasma sword in hand and just Hits dead center uh, along the reactor core, slicing comms antenna and hinging the knee, putting out the eye, the whole thing, and she's gonna just get hit hard. And it's gonna completely uh, destabilize her back. It's gonna shut down mid space. 
she's going to be floating. And <laughs> very much so in danger. And with the the nearby uh, gravity pull, she's probably going to also start descending slowly. Speaking of descending slowly, um, Imogen, <laughs> uh, I'm going to rush you. Sorry, that's... <laughs> My God. What, what she did last night. Hey, yeah. Well done. <laughs> Mm. Uh, but Ellie's gonna rush at you faster than you would believe. She doesn't have a gun at this point, only her yeah. plasma sword arm remaining. Uh, and she's going to try to slam into you. Can you react in time and get away? And if so, how do you do so? Um, uh, I don't think she can. I think... Except her Kylan back. jumps in front. <gasps> oh! Ooh. Okay. Good. <laughs> yes, very much, very much. Let's yes. go. Let's go. Okay, so you you jump in front and do you take the hit instead or do yeah. you hit Ellie? Uh, we'll take the hit because like I don't think she's she she thinks she can win Ellie over because she knows about well, her and the count. Well, do you block with a laser sword? Yes. Oh, laser. I forgot I can have a laser yeah, sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's got one. Seriously. Come on. Yeah. Giant <laughs> big laser. laser. Oh. Yeah. In that like epic stance. Yep. Yeah. Right as she's about to like, like bring her sword down on me, on my mech, you're just like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I think Sorry, Ellie's just going to look in every possible that. direction at once, her eyes flicking between you apparently betraying her. Imogen still alive, somehow Lista plummeting towards her horrible demise, and this mystery fucko going alongside her. <laughs> Speaking of mystery fuckers, it's your go. Uh, so drifting by, I'm gonna. He's gonna turn on his uh, thrusters enough that he can get a little bit of like aiming, uh, and then uh, so his gun system is broken, so he can outfire. Instead, uh, he's gonna jettison his entire payload into the center of the battlefield and detonate it. Oh no! Which, oh. Uh, but not before turning on the uh, the recorder broadcast function and is if if you're okay with this Lista uh, is going to use a voice spoofer to have this basically footage look like this is launched out of you saying Viva la Revolution <laughs> yes do it I'm so here for it all you hear the cost of comms is Viva la Revolution <laughs> nice jettison so that is a i do blank do you survive dodge how hold me off what do you do uh so this is you, everybody i guess, you're, I guess you're you, aiming at the three of us in a pile basically it's going into the center of the battlefield i think you could probably get away from it it's mostly there to do collateral damage rather than direct damage it's basically a fox fire maneuver <laughs> But I mean, if it, if it blows one of you up, it blows one of you up. So I think Ellie's instinct is going to get Kellen out of the way of the explosion. So she's going to grab your Mac and turn so the explosion hits her instead. Oh, I was going to do the same to protect Imogen, but you got it first. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, as we can I'm just gonna, be in a line. I'm, gonna no, I'm, as you start to pull, I'm going to kind of like toss my sword to in space, kind of push Imogen out of the way as you kind of pull me away from her. So I can't protect her as I can't take all the damage. So she might get a lot more hurt, but you get a lot more hurt protecting me. <sighs> dang. Oh, dang. Oh, Such dang. Such a mess. I think we're we're all completely donked up and probably oh, plummeting yes. into a gravity well. Oh, yeah. I'm sure 100%. at that point that blast is uh, just going to like fry her, the, her back Ooh. and it's just going to power down. Get stuck on one of the asteroids. So is your go, Kellen? Oh God. Um, you can I, always pass. Yeah, I think I might pass because I don't think there's really anything I can do at this point. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna try to keep the, my own, uh, yeah, You would be the final for the the, the free for all, and then we'll we'll resolve how this combat came to a close. Right. Too. Yes. Mm-hmm. And an unexpected turn of events. 
if anyone were looking where she was descending, they'd notice that she isn't there. <gasps> and instead, in a very anime-esque way, comes and appears right behind Imogen's mech. Her own barely surviving <laughs> electricity crackling from the damaged reactor core, the broken face, <laughs> the unhinged knee. It just barely hanging on to her dear life and she just raises her laser sword in air. Yes. Um, and, uh, hold on a sec, where is it? Where is it? Change. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I do uh you know, I raise my laser sword in the air and go to descend downwards. Can you just survive it, dodge it, hold me off? How? Okay, Robin. Does maybe does maybe my mech get messed up? <laughs> yes, Kelly. Can I suggest something? Having yes. seen far more anime than you, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yes, yes. I think you should do nothing and the power of friendship should save you at the last second with like ah! <laughs> like one of those, one of those. But that's just me. That's my suggestion. I was gonna do nothing. I was gonna do nothing anyway. So if if, if the blow brings it down, or it stops halfway, the power of friendship. <laughs> so she's probably just gonna say, "I'm sorry," as you bring it down. Just what? What? What do you? No. You betrayed all of what we stand for. I'm trying to do the best with the least bloodshed. And look at what's brought us. We're still You're fighting, with... but we can end this. But there was so much. But the, the Petras, the Petras, that they took my brother away. They're the ones that started this bloodshed, not us. And now you're going to side with them. With the capitalists who spread this resource around like it's theirs to sell. It's not. It's ours. It's the people's. And it's wrong what they're doing. And why? Why would you betray our cause like that? It's not betrayal if I was going to betray them anyway. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> and like her laser sword is just gonna retract back into uh, the hilt, and she's just, oh God, oh God, I was so angry, I, oh God, I'm sorry. And she's gonna kind of click it into place and then using what's left of her kind of system and boosters that's on her barely surviving mech is gonna grab oh the back of hers and try and float away with Imogen <laughs> and bring her to safety. Aww. So I, I feel like the obvious end is that um, the fight was explosive and we did an enormous amount of damage probably to the space station out here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and we are all very lucky to have survived at all. If, mm -hmm. Assuming we've all survived, we could choose to die. I, I, I'm down for being like fucked up, but not yeah, yet. I, th I, I think, think so I, yeah. too. Yeah, I think we're all in fucked bandages up. with the one eye covered. Yes. Oh my God. The, the Ray Ayanami. Yeah. Gonna... yeah. So. <laughs> I don't have any. As we've all gone around once, I think at this point, I'm going to make the decision at the end of this turn to move to end play. Yeah. So what this does, we, we move towards the, the end of the game. We go around again and we ask questions about sort of how things are resolved for our characters. And we, we tie up the loose ends, if that makes sense. I feel like this is uh, the end of a season, not the end of the right? show. No, I think yeah, we just need cliffhangers. Right. <laughs> so we, we go around the table one last time. And on our turn, we bring up any unresolved question that we have about our characters' fates. Uh, we say what we think the possible outcomes would be, and then the other players contribute outcomes as well, and then vote to determine which of the possible outcomes is the one that comes true. So, I guess Ellie can can go first on this one. Mm -hmm. One of the outstanding questions is, does she learn that the Count is this mysterious jerk? <laughs> or is it a mystery to her forever? I mean, I And does like that the... relationship continue under dubious circumstances? <laughs> Or does she find out? I like it being a secret still, but I'm biased. Because being evil it's Batman It's a secret nice. for next season. Yeah. So she doesn't find out, at least not yet? No, not yet. Okay. That sounds good to me. 
<laughs> uh, Count, do you have any unresolved questions about your character? Okay, are there is there a list of these, or is this we make it up on the fly? Nope, you just you come up with questions that you have about how the plot is. We'll go around until essentially we run out of questions to ask about uh, the characters. Is uh, will the rebellion work with the Bantarash, or use the supplies after this? I I think they probably would. What do you guys think? Rebellion. Yeah. Uh, some of the some of the rebels would. I think some of them maybe not. Yeah. Uh, cool. Lista's faction, the peacemakers, would not. Then Imogen's they are not receiving would. supplies. Yeah. <laughs> Imogen's faction probably would. Would She's Imogen probably... accept a? Uh, your mech's destroyed, right? Yeah. What's your mech's name? Do you have it? Does it have a name, or are you just using a factory standard? Uh, probably a factory standard that she. Cool. Give me one sec. <laughs> <laughs> you get a fancy one. I got a fancy one from the count, though she doesn't. Uh, let's see. Another uh, mysteriously well-equipped rebel. An, an, a mm. mysterious. You're gonna will in next season. Will she be piloting a new mech called? Ooh, let's say uh, Artemis Blue. Ooh, good name. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, and that's perfect because it's like total like uh, opposite to Red Star. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, amazing. So yeah, good. That's, that's right. my question around. Go. Kellen, your turn for an unresolved question about your character. You. Oh, I guess your, uh, next, your character's you name is Kellen. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, uh, um, I think it's going to be does she have a meetup with Imogen and have it hash it out? And if so, do they part ways or do they decide to work together and possibly more? I was gonna, that was gonna be my question, but I, more, more the thing of like, Imogen, I think may want to pursue a relationship with Kellen <gasps> if that would happen. <laughs> so she's definitely gonna meet up. Deep. <laughs> she's definitely gonna oh, yeah. meet up and hash it out because she feels a real fucking bad um, did they, did they, okay who comes and sees who in the med ward because <laughs> we're both ideas. pretty fucked up so one goes to the other we one both, we both see it in the like in the like that in like that you know that always middle courtyard peace garden we definitely oh are both like <laughs> see each other across the way yeah and we're both like okay so you have are you saying you have a moment there? <laughs> yes, yes, we have a moment. Yes. Cool. Nice. That leads nice, into nice, next nice. season. Yeah. Ow. So that was both Lisa? of us. <laughs> that was both of us, yeah. <laughs> now, any Can unresolved I... questions about your character? Uh, one unresolved question and kind of like a little light statement of like when when she kind of drags Imogen's uh, mech to the nearest like spaceport where she can get some medical help, she's going to drag her out of there and effectively drop her uh somewhat unceremoniously onto the the docks and just kind of this isn't over we'll talk about this a lot more later but if you are betraying me you will regret it and she's just going to kind of walk away um and the kind of lingering question is on her mind because i mean it's for her it's like kind of like a gundam show will she ever have one of those <laughs> uh type of dalliances with ellie again these confusing feelings she's oh. she's another she's she's one of the problem she's the people i'm fighting against and yet the way she brushed my hair up behind my ear my hair, i think definitely <laughs> definitely <gasps> my god <laughs> oh my imogen unresolved questions for you i mean i have with mine was pretty good was uh w would uh kellen potentially be interested in uh pursuing a relationship Robin and I are just real <laughs> sappy and gay, okay? Yes. Like, so wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so so is this? Are you are you kind of pursuing this in like the courtyard? Probably. Probably. Okay. No. Sully this. Sully it. Absolutely uh, sully it. Uh, there we go. Sorry, sorry. I you those of you who oh were watching gosh. knew I was gonna do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if, if you don't understand Illegal. that joke, go watch, go, go the watch war. the war. It's on YouTube right now. Go watch the ward on, on youtube.com slash dorktales. It is a hell of a time. Uh, 
Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Unresolved questions for Ellie. Yeah. I mean, I guess does a full-on Macross-style love triangle develop? Is it a disaster? Uh, yes. That's not a question. That's a yes. <laughs> wait, wait. Between who, who, and who? Between Those Lissa three. and the Count. Between and this Ellie. corner and this. <laughs> there's here. I guess it's like a yeah, love V, and then there's probably. That. More, yeah, than, yeah. more than a triangle. A triangle is more, more stable. Of a- yeah, definitely more of a V because I feel like Lista would be really making it a huge point to kill the 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 the, the Bantress. Uh, yeah, and Ellie's making it a huge point to kill this one mysterious rebel. Exactly. <laughs> oh, and then there can be such a good moment between like Imogen being like, "You got mad at me about kill it, and now you're going after this one." Yeah, yeah right. Right. Uh, ah. I'm so excited for season two. All right, any oh. unresolved questions with the count? Uh how do how okay, how do the peacekeepers uh handle it since there's broadcast footage of uh the peacekeeper uh, who's oh, the, been working oh. with them doing a direct attack, a bombardment released to the public. The peacemakers, yeah, yeah. yeah. Peacemakers, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, because it looks like it looks like for being peaceful and working with the landowners, you sure tried to blow them up and another revolutionary mech. Um, well, the thing is, they weren't really working that much with the landowners or anyone else, really. But okay. uh, they were attempting to establish that. But because of all this intense bad publicity, their membership count has diminished completely. And a bunch of the ones that are kind of on the fence have left. Their numbers have dwindled excessively oh. um, just due to the fact that like people don't believe that she didn't do it because of how much uh-huh. they've seen her her anger and her rage. So I think it would end up affecting it, the rebellion in a very, very dangerous way where she'd feel more alone than ever fighting this war. Um, yeah. I've uh-huh. got a particularly commanding shoulder you can cry on. <gasps> Ooh! Thank you. Thank you so much. I just, I'm so confused. I shouldn't feel this way about you. You're the enemy. Help it. And then Kellen shows you the footage of them together. (gasps) All right. (laughs) I don't know, Frog. That's a very mysterious question. The mystery swath, man. We'll have to find out in season two. All right. Find out next time on Mobile Frame Any more unresolved character questions that feel like they should be resolved? No, we could we could go on for eons. No, I think think so too. Uh, I just want a post credit. I just want a post credit with the whole like. uh, the armor on this mech was insufficient. <laughs> Continue development on Platinum on Ozymandias Zero. <gasps> yes! Because I want an upgrade! Done. done. <laughs> uh, well, I had a lot of fun with this. I hope that you did, too. <gasps> this was so fun! You're just a little bitch. Just, just, uh, just, that was just amazing. Uh, and thank you, thank you for being uh, so patient and understanding uh, about my oh, delay for getting here. Oh, of course. Um, I'm so I, sad I, I was the beating person. You showed a fashionable very, light. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. You had perfect. Red yeah. Star had to make an exactly entrance. When you were mad. <laughs> because to. I'm Lissa Red Star. <laughs> Ace Pilot. Ace Pilot. Ace Pilot. Ace Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the catchphrase that when you press the button on your uh, your doll, action yeah, the action figure, yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> exactly. All right, so that's When's the beach timing. episode. Oh, maybe we'll, we'll do that next. Next extra life, we'll do a beach episode. Oh my god! Oh, there we go. Just the max and speedos. I really. I, I loved how we adapted the the rules and the fiction bent stuff a little bit. I think yeah. our yeah. idea of adding the if you get caught. To yeah. two other dalliances was really cool. I was I was going to throw pretty, pretty big fan of how this went. Yeah, was yeah. Really I was be- before the like chase happened at the end there that kind of led to the big battle. Um, I was going to sort of mishmash the talk over dinner and duel. And have it be like a training thing mm. with Ellie and Kellen and like interviewing one another, but also uh, like that would be really cute, right? Yeah, that's another one. Like, I, I like that you can kind of just like mishmash and really work things on the fly. Hell yes. Man. Yeah. Well, I, th- there are tons of systems like this, including this one, that I would totally love to run sometime or yeah. again. So, 
These are some of my favorite kinds because the mechanics are just like, what kind of weird story are we telling together? This was literally just, just ideas RP for, it, for right? four hours. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I, oh my God. Exactly. A lot of the best games tend to be though, right? Yeah. That's... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and it's and it's kind of fun. Ooh, ooh Max and Speedos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I gotta ask, did anyone else get like excessive with the backstory writing for this character like I did? Because I literally have this whole arc thing of like, this is her brother's jacket. He was one of the ones that died in the revolution <laughs> fight. It's also one of his guitar picks because he also had used to have a band and was part of the Starlighters that she used to Love sing it. in. And like Love this it. whole thing. I found out I was supposed to be in this game yesterday. So I didn't have yeah. time. I totally would have. I, I yeah. I intentionally left it pretty open because I wanted to to fill gaps and yeah. to be an antagonist, yeah, and then that. I turned out to sort of yeah. date everyone. <laughs> That's antagonistic. You know what? Some away. of my greatest antagonists in life have been exes. <laughs> right. Okay. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. <laughs> So right. I guess should we we angle towards switching to to the next game? How do we how do we do this? So yeah. uh, actually, real quick though, uh, so we are gonna head out. This is your last chance to donate right now. Uh, actually, you know what? Mm-hmm. Tell you what, we're actually gonna and call. We, wait, it should right... we plug it? Should we plug each other again too? We should plug each other. So um, Christine, real quick, has done the raffle already uh, for this, and I am happy to announce that. Uh, can I get a drum roll, guys? <laughs> Uh, it is a little surprise that Tanuki Tim has won Yay! a prize. Oh uh, so Tanuki Tim, you have Ooh. won a copy of the, uh, you've won a Steam code for Bee Simulator. Yes. It's a simulator <laughs> where you get to be bees, uh, which uh, we will be reaching out to you within the, like after Extra Life with that code. So you get to play Bee Simulator. If you already have it, let me know. Uh, I'll just, we'll redraw because I have so many Steam games that, that I'm giving away to really people. funny. Uh, and with that, let's plug each other and then take a 30 minute break before next game. We amazing. Funny. Uh, I want to go last. You go first. I'll go first. <laughs> I, was, hey. I'm, I was the narrator. You go first. Hey, I loved having all of you here. Thank you so much for all the support of this episode of Extra Life. Uh, I've been Kelly. Are you seeing him? This is my channel. And we do a lot of great stuff here. So if you like role playing games, weird ones particularly, uh, come and spend time here. And it's great. But you should also spend time with. Uh, I'm going to pass it on to Nightbite. Hi. Uh, right. Plugging. Uh, self. Uh, hi. Plug, plug yourself on camera. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um... <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wouldn't Lordy. be the first time. Ah! Not yet. That'll be happening later. Um, Ayo. 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 Um, <laughs> after hour night bite. No. Um, only, only, so... max. <laughs> only max. Only max. Only frames. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Nightbite. I'm a variety game streamer with a particular emphasis on virtual reality, positive health, inclusive LGBT space. I use she, they pronouns, and I had so much fucking fun with this. This was so cool, and I'm so, I, I, I really want to do this again. Um, I really do hope that like we end up doing uh, like season two of this because this has been really fun. Oh my god! Um, you were all absolutely amazing, and your improvisation skills were stellar. And I miss you all so much. So getting to do these is so so good. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you everybody for watching and who did join us today and who did donate. It's such an important and amazing charity and good cause. Um, please do whatever you can to spread the word for it. Like share the whole nine yards, the whole big streamer and, you know, content creator thing of spread the word as much as you can. Spread right. whatever you want. Thank you. <laughs> Who's going next? Uh, are I was we like going Krista. around? Hi, I've been Krista. Uh, I will probably continue to be Krista bullshit eh, it depends on the day i guess no, you're chahista i am chahista yes <laughs> so in the chat and on tiktok uh and on uh instagram now you can find me at chahista fx um as in the chat um you can also find me here on dork tales and way too many games now because i'm back in my swing because kelly finally broke me and it's the best um uh, you can also find me uh, on any podcast provider, uh, as well as YouTube uh, at Lasercomb Productions, L-A-Z-O-R-C-O-M-B Productions, uh, where you can find me on a podcast uh, called Based On, where we talk about movies based on books and the books that we're based on. And hopefully, if Kelly isn't totally dead after this weekend, I'm going to get him recording. That reminds me, I got to borrow that book copy for I you. I know, I got to get it to you. <laughs> cool. I actually have all next week off as of Monday. I'm just doing work, like life work and writing until Saturday's stream. So awesome. I, got, I have time for you. So. Oh, I'll get it to you on Monday. Cool. Nice. Uh, Robin. Yeah. Hello. 
Uh, I'm Robin. I use she, they pronouns, and uh, you can find me usually here on Dork Tales, um, constantly flirting with anyone that will let me uh, in character, just like oh, mostly, I love, me. mostly you, time. but not uh, uh -huh, I win. I won this one. You won this you, one. You did. You did. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I usually find me here on Dork Tales, but if uh, in my free time, I stream things like usually Guild Wars 2 on uh, second gen gamer. Um, yeah, this has been so much fun. Freaking love it. All right, and Bunny, bring us home. Hi, I'm Bunny. Um, I'm a cozy, comfy VTuber streamer doing my best to make a warm, welcoming, inclusive space at twitch.tv slash bunnyhearted. Um, I'm also a giant dweeb, so you'll see me sometimes over here in the dork squad running games and stuff, or mostly playing in games, but running games for extra life, which I love and I'm excited to do more of in the future when my time opens up a little bit. Uh, but this was so much fun. Thank you all so much for joining me on this. This is one of those games I've been wanting to run for like four years now, so I'm really glad that I finally did. Uh, and then and, and, and I love you all. I'll see you soon. We yeah. love you too. Actually, very soon because you're going to be running the 8 a.m. slot tomorrow morning. So if you watch Dungeon be. World. Oh, God, I have to wear that costume first thing in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to be so sweaty. Noon for me, it's so it's so reasonable. Well, hopefully I'm excited still be able to cool wake up. Morning. Wake up to this. Mm. I'm excited to watch this. Yeah, nice. same. Yeah, I'm gonna... That'll be a good time. Uh, so, hey, folks, thank you so much for tuning into Extra Life. Uh, we are not done yet. This is game two of 11 that we are doing over the weekend. So we have another one that is going live in 25 minutes. We're going to go offline for a few minutes to grab some dinner, uh, change our costumes, and we will be back with Natasha running Time Tra Traveler Society, uh, which includes oh. myself, uh, Krista, Robin, uh, Caitlin, and who's number who's number five? Cal. Kel. Kel. Kel's in that one as well. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a hell of a good time. More money for charity. And it's a about a bunch of A hell of a travel. good time. A hell of a good time. Oh, all right. I'll see you all in season two. Okay. See you in yes. season two. Season two. We'll be back in a little bit. Don't go anywhere. See you in about 20 minutes. Bye, everybody.